Hello and welcome to the Infernal Gaming Podcast. I'm your host, E9117, and I just want to let you know you can listen to this podcast on all podcast platforms like Apple Music, Spotify, and you can search us up by searching Infernal Gaming Podcast on YouTube. Make sure you also check out the links in the podcast description and make sure you like up and rate the show five stars. Thank you and enjoy the show. So that Black Ops 6, man. So how do you feel about Concord, man? How do I feel about Concord, man? What's that? <laughs> you know what that? <laughs> <laughs> Who's that, man? That's fucked up. Never even heard of that game. Say no, nah, man. <laughs> what is it? No, nah, man. The internet, man, is a weird fucking place, bro. It's just, weird, but it's it's like it's funny as shit. It just don't I, it's I just it's don't funny. get the I, internet, man. What? What do you mean just, you don't I, get the internet? I don't get it, man. I don't what? get it. You don't get like, the what? Listen, I, I'm going to put it on wax now, right? Mm-hmm. I'm not saying that Concord is the best game ever, and it was just this amazing shooter or anything like that. You know what I mean? I think when I get a little bit more time with the game, I'll do a more in-depth review on the podcast. But I think people just kind of like shit on this game and i don't know man it's like just the internet's not real bro like it's just not real man it's uh, not a real place because why every you... day i get on the internet and i'm i'm under call like a call of duty post mm-hmm. and it's just a motherfucker talking about you guys are paying a hundred dollars for a game and it has all these microtransactions no and then it's like that. you got a free to play game and it's like oh my god there's games riddled with microtransactions yeah. Then you got a fucking forty dollar game coming out saying, "Hey, we ain't got no microtransactions," and y'all y'all complain even harder. Like it don't even it makes like no sense, dog. Like no, and no way am I defending like Concord. Like when I bought Concord, bro, it was literally because I, I I'm a firm believer. Like if you like something, you you, you should you should support it. I mean, you should you should definitely support it. Mm-hmm. If you like something, support it. I like the game. I think the game is like decent on some passive shit. Like I'll mm-hmm. hop on play like maybe like 45 minutes to like an hour. You know what I mean? Play a couple matches while I'm just in the Discord talking to the guys after a stream or something like that. And mm-hmm. get off. Like I don't it's it's not something that I'm sitting here, I'm like, yo, I'ma play this shit for 12 hours straight, four hours straight, three hours straight. It's like just not that type of game. It's something that just chill on you know what i mean like mm-hmm. i have like a couple friends i could play with like i met some people like who've um come to my stream because of it um people i met in game so i got like people to run with and shit like that but it's just it, it's it's like i like the game do i think it's a little generic yeah you know what i mean i do think it it, it strike me for forty dollars um the like i at first when i they revealed it i was interested because i was like oh gameplay wise like because they showed a little bit of gameplay it reminded me of like destiny style it's really good yeah so i was like oh all right that looks cool like characters are weird looking but like yeah man that's one of my maybe i'll check it out and then it like the beta came out and i was like oh to make a psn account and then i'm watching other youtubers and stuff and they're like the game runs like ass on PC. And I'm like, okay, so I'm just going to skip this <laughs> like, to me. Yeah, to me, it's like, it's like, I like you, you can like aspects of the game, but at the same time, like if it runs like shit and like the gameplay, like it, cause like the shooting is not going to carry it. Right. Like movements, yeah, a thing, Mo- movements, character design, all that shit also does matter so like if people aren't vibing with the characters and this is a hero shooter at its core yeah then then i'm not gonna sit here and be like oh but it's a good game it like it they don't like it they don't like it i I don't know what to tell you (laughs) i I think the thing that overwatch always had going for it that was like a, a really unique um thing that overwatch did was like I know a lot of people within the community are like theory crafters. I think is the, the term they use for it. Yeah, so it's they like didn't, they're, they're they really didn't reveal invested too much. in the lore. I mean, yeah. they're really invested in the lore. And Overwatch, even from 
the beginning when it dropped in 2016 or 2015, whenever the fuck, I think it was like 2016, well, that, whenever it dropped, yeah, it, it, it was filled with lore and a very interesting cast of characters. And, well, it's not I mean? even that. It dropped with like a bunch of cinematics that yeah. told you kind of what the characters were about a little bit, not like a super in-depth backstory yeah, no, and not shit. at all yeah and it had good music its art style was like the bl- like blizzard brand art style like it had good good quality like like design overall like characters were eye-catching but they also stood out from each other like now if you ask me who's who's an overwatch character now i'm gonna be like i don't fucking know like i, I like I, I know the originals and other, other than that uh, the new ones that came out you don't I don't, know about I don't know. juno man i heard about that but i ain't i ain't i, ain't, I don't follow overwatch i don't play overwatch no more so it's like bro, you know, bro, like, I, don't, I don't give a shit but it's like i'm sh- sure if like to the if you compare the overwatch character design to like concord's character design you got guard like you have you have like, you know, these are our Marvel superheroes of the Blizzard universe, and then you have fucking Guardians of the Galaxy at home with Concord, and yeah. it's just like, yeah, like the, the one dude that has the revolver reminds me so much of the guy that dies in Guardians Two. Spoiler alert, um, with the Mohawk, and I was like, it feels like they're trying for that vibe, but mm-hmm. that would work better in like. A regular FPS style shooter, yeah, rather than like a hero shooter that's like an Overwatch clone. And um, this game probably would have done better if it was free to play. I, I agree. I agree. I, I like you have like like I I just checked the Steam Pop. It's not even visible anymore. Um, like on the community hub, it usually tells you like at least like a thousand people or six hundred. It, it's like non-existent on Steam. And um, I think the last PlayStation update that I saw was like 500 people in, in the game. So yeah. that that kind of is concerning. Like, I feel like there's like a point where you can pivot, right? Yeah, they're not they, coming back from this. They're not coming back from no, this. No, it's it's it's, it's a wrap. It's, if it's, if you cool. if you had that initial reveal trailer, this is kind of why I'm like you know, even though like you be you say the internet's not a real place, like some of that feedback mixed in with with some of the bullshit is valid critique, and it's like someone telling you, oh, I don't like the way it looks, I don't like you know this, this seems too slow, gameplay was too slow, you know, yeah, like th- chill. yeah, those are valid complaints, man, those are super valid complaints, because that's exactly how I feel. I feel. You know, if I had to give like a quick synopsis, I, I think the 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 gunplay is really good. It feels really good. The team synergy when you can get, you know, the team to kind of cooperate with you is really on point. Mm-hmm. And and is a thing that I think other shoot uh, hero shooters like Overwatch kind of lack right now mm-hmm. because everybody's just kind of like I play Overwatch kind of passively, like on Fridays and stuff like that, and it's just like, well, if if we're not like a full stack, which we usually are, but mm-hmm. if we're not, it's like we always have that one or two people where it's just like, bro, you're playing Winston, and they've got you know fucking uh, Sigma. They just it's playing like, Winston because they like playing Winston. Yeah, yeah, and it's like you're you're not switching to to you know be able to counter the Sigma, and it's pissing me off. Versus where in Concord, like I can see people like literally like switch to different play styles and move around because it, it has a really unique system within it where it's like you build like a, a quote unquote loadout, but it's called a crew. And it's like you pick like I think it's like 12 characters. You pick like 10 characters and they mm-hmm. each have a unique perk. And every time you switch and play to with another crew member, you unlock their perk for all of your characters that you switch to. Mm. So it kind of um, gives you an incentive to not just play the same role or the same character for the whole game, which is something that I really like. Because again, the problem with Overwatch is, because I don't play open queue. That shit's stupid. I play role queue. Competitive is role queue, so I play role queue. 
That's the one and that locks just, you out of characters when you win a, yeah, a match, you right? Yeah, you literally have to play damage, tank, or healer. But in this game, it doesn't lock you out of none of that shit. It's literally just those three. You can play whatever you want. I mean, you can play whatever you want, and I like mm-hmm. that. And being able to switch and get a feel of the synergy of your team is something that I really like. Like, the, like I will say the community that is playing, however small it is, is pretty goddamn solid, man. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, I I have crossplay turned off, so I don't even play with PC motherfuckers. Only mm-hmm. because I don't like the frame difference. Like, you have an advantage because you have more frames. I don't want that. Oh, yeah. Is that, a, is wanna, that you, you what, locked a 60 or 30 or what? Uh, 120. I'm at 120. 120 frames on, on PlayStation? Mm-hmm. PS5 can get up to 120. I play I play 120 on so all what, my what's games. The, what's the them. frame problem, then? Well, you know, on a PC, you can get as many frames as you want. You know what I mean? You get it. You can get if your computer can handle, you can get five hundred frames. You know what I mean, yeah. But that's so right. I just kind of, I just kind of say, you know what? And and plus, I think, you know, for like hero shooters, because I do play Overwatch on console. I do. I played on PC for a long time, and I switched to console because I'm just more comfortable on a controller. Like I can play certain games, mouse and keyboard. But I feel like a game where my aim has to be very precise and consistent, I just, I don't think I can play. There's a reason why I don't play Valorant on PC like that. I play it more on console now than I do on PC because Mm -hmm. I'm better just at controlling. Like, I've been using controller my whole life. So it's just like, I think with a game like Concord and games like Overwatch and uh, I'm trying to think of other hero shooters and shit like that, all of them really... I think mouse and keyboard is more built for those games for the players that are kind of cracked with it or good with it. And I'm not good with it. And I don't want to deal with that shit. So it's I mean, like I just said, fuck I me. Mean, yeah, that's, 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 that is, that is like, that is what that feature is for. So you don't have to deal with that shit. But yes, yeah, so I turn cross it, play off and I, I never, I, I never have the a issue running that- the game. I don't. I don't think it's gonna be in, like that much of an issue. I don't. I think a lot of the the people um, finding issues on on the game are the PC side of things. They like from yeah. one of the reviews I've, I've been reading. It looks like their hours will pass before they get a ca- a game. So it's it's yeah, that's either crazy. it's either the PlayStation uh, base does not want to play with PC players, so they turn it off, or queue times on the PC side of the servers are just terrible either either way it's um i just i don't know i i saw this game i thought i was gonna like it at first and then i saw everything after and i just decided not to i was like it's yeah man which is which is valid man like i said i i think certain things are valid when people talk about games as a whole like We've talked about the Assassin's Creed thing a thousand times. So mm-hmm. we talked about it. I'm not even going to dive d- deep into it. If you know, you know. It's just one of those things where it's like, it seems like the majority of the voices are coming from people who never planned to play the game to begin with. Right. And it's just like, to me, it's like, me being a logical person, right? With a, with a busy day, I have a girlfriend. I got mm-hmm. a job. Got a lot of things going on. I stream at twitch.tv slash blaze. I have a girlfriend. No, I got a lot of shit going <laughs> on, bro. So it's just like it, it's 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 for me to like I don't play like like Madden or anything like that. I talked about this on stream, right? Mm-hmm. But I don't I didn't I don't play Madden. I don't play sports games at all. So for me to go on Madden's Instagram page and say Oh, this game died in 2010. Mm-hmm. It's just like, why? Like, what What does that do for me? And I'm more so speaking, if there is a listener out there who does that weird shit, because I think it's weird. Why? Like, I, I just don't get it. I don't get going out of your way to, I think, like, there's proper ways to do things, dog. I mean, right. and I think my biggest thing is, I said this on stream, the biggest thing with, with gamers, right, that pisses me the fuck off about these motherfuckers is it's like, you're damned if you do, damned if you don't. I have a comment that went, like, viral on, like, a, a IGN post where it was like, 
the the car community is like so dumb because it's mm-hmm. like every time we get something that we've been complaining about, we talk about oh, give us back what we had. It's just like bro, like what? Like it's just like for dance, right? Ooh, they're bringing yeah. they're bringing for dance back, right? And All it's right, just cool. like people got so tired of that map. Oh, this map is getting old. We need more maps. They finally give us a new map. Oh, bring Verdance back. It's like, bro, y'all don't know what the fuck y'all want, man. And I think <laughs> I truly think that as a whole, gamers do not know what the fuck they want. We don't know I what think, we want. We don't think, know what we want, listen, dog. Listen, listen. I think I think uh, I think you you half right on that. I think a lot of like the louder voices in a community don't know what the fuck they're talking about. But there there are times where it's like criticism criticism is valid like, i think bro, i bro, with the verdance thing though not to cut you off though but right. the, the 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 video i sent you did you watch the video i sent you which one are we talking about you sent me a lot the asthma gold video i'm gonna just say the asthma gold video oh yeah the the one three, where four, three yeah this nigga, yo, yo listen y'all listen this nigga said the reason why Halo Infinite failed is because it didn't have Battle Royale. I turned the video off so fucking fast, dog. I said, this nigga's an idiot. This I so, nigga's so, an idiot. Yo, all right. So if you kept watching, right? Nah, nah. I, no, I no, 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 no. I did nah, keep nah. watching. You, okay. So I, I, watched the whole I thing. get his point, but he is he's not he's not correct about the Halo Battle Royale shit because Bro, he's 100% he's, wrong. He's 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 one. It's like it didn't need battle royale. It needed content at fucking launch. No, 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 no. Listen, no, 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 no. Listen, well, it's it's it's, it's it's the game that I like. Oh, I'm gonna talk. Listen, right. just listen. Just no, listen. no, 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 bro. Seriously. All right, all right, all right, seriously, all right. Seriously, all right, seriously. All right. Because right. that's he, happy, he, man. God, I understand. God. I understand. But it's like one. We got battle royale in the forge mode. Like the community made that shit. This shit's actually kind of fun. Um, two, we've had like Forge style battle royale in Halo since like fucking Reach and even Halo 3 with the sandbox map. Um, the problem, I, I, the point, his point that he's making, right? Because I'm not gonna get like blindly mad because he's shitting on Halo, he's right about how 343 handled the goddamn game, absolutely. But the, the point he's making is that 343 didn't bother to follow any of the, the shit that normally like would cause them to innovate and has since been innovating in a direction that like doesn't make sense right so like they they added loadouts and perks and bullshit that that's in call of duty to halo 4 that don't make no goddamn sense that's, yeah that doesn't make sense i remember when he talked about that he talked about that after the the halo infinite thing yeah but so it, like it that don't make no sense, but like he was saying, oh well, at least they you know took a risk. They know it doesn't work. Anyone could have told you that didn't work though. Like any Halo fan, the problem with three four three is that they they hate the Bungie legacy, so they want to do the opposite of that. Yeah. And every fucking yeah. time they get marginal success or just straight failure. Like Halo Four, I remember because we played Halo Four when Halo Four came out. I remember everyone was bitching about the call the Call of Duty style loadouts mm-hmm. and they had to reintroduce a classic game mode where there but were I no actually, loadouts. I actually here. appreciated them for that, dog. And they, that's the one thing that's they the did it because they were bleeding players. That's no, that's no, the thing. That's, that's real shit. But the one thing I always say, dog, is you you you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't, right? Right. As much as I hated loadouts too, I did. I hated loadouts. I think, and I've I've, I've said this on stream when we when we because I talked about it on stream, mm-hmm. and it's just like the the thing about Halo and games like that, Quake, Doom, you know what I mean? That style of arena shooter, Split Gate, which we'll talk about later. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, it's like that is a totally different sector. Of gamer to me, dog. Like Halo gamers are, they are not Call of Duty gamers, dog. No, like, they're at, not at all. So it's just like when they try to inject the, a little bit of Call of Duty's uh, formula into Halo with Halo Four. I appreciated the change 
as a Call of Duty player, but I didn't like it as a Halo fan. Because it doesn't. All right. So, like, because the core gameplay mechanics don't reflect. Like, all right. So, with COD, it's like you get perks, you get loadouts, you get all this shit. You're grinding constantly to unlock new shit, right? And then you're building your, your loadout or whatever, all right? Everyone has the the ability to do all this shit, right? But with Halo, it's not you're not fucking running around like the 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 map uh, with the best loadout. You're the whole point is even starts, and then there's a golden triangle of gameplay where it's like everyone can punch, everyone can jump, everyone can find weapons on the map, everyone can do everything equally at the start. The whole incentive is getting to the best shit that's on the map. It forces you go into the map and play the game. It forces you to kind of like learn this, like how everything works, and like come up with better gameplay styles and stuff as you're going on. It's also like your guns don't have unlimited ammo, and you're not going to respawn with the m- most broken gun um, that came out with the season pass. Like you're, you got to go get that shit, and then you got to improvise. Like yeah. the longer you're alive in Halo, the harder the game is because it's like I'm out of BR ammo, I'm out of rocket ammo. I got this fucking plasma pistol and this goddamn AR or AR and shit. Like if they introduced the battle royale into Halo Infinite, like an actual official one, I wouldn't mind as an optional game mode, right? But they have to do it in a way that makes sense for Halo. They can't do like a fucking war zone, you know. And so that's why I was, I was, I thought it was fun when the community actually made a fully functional battle royale mode, which you should check out at one point next time we get a, a Halo night going. Um, where it's like you drop in and everyone's got, it's got, you know, weapons you can find. It's got AI running around the map that you can kill, take their shit. It's got a closing barrier. It's got the, like everything, right? And then when you die, you have your gulag thing where you 1v1 some dude with a pistol. like, And then you get to drop back into the map. Like, that was made by the community. 343 could have fucking did that. They, d- they chose not to. In fact, the, the game mode that 343 should have brought back was Warzone from fucking um, Halo 5, where it's PvE, PvP. PvP, yeah, that was a good mode. And I never played it, but I always wanted to because it looked like a lot of fun. Yeah, it's and a good mode, man. It's like, why don't you bring shit like that back? Shit the community actually liked. Like, you have a thousand Mint Blitz videos telling you what's good, what's not good, and then you have a bunch of people, like, in the Halo community also echoing yeah, what he's saying. Yeah, he saved Halo 5. That and comp play. Exactly, considering the Forge didn't come out till like, probably a month or two after that game launched. Yeah. So, like... I think it's crazy to me that like three four three can't learn from their own fucking mistakes, but that's kind of like what they what gotta Asm- go. <laughs> that's what Asmund Gold is trying to make the Yo, point. He's, he said that. He said that, and that was probably the only thing I agree with. Like they it, gotta go. it didn't fail because it didn't have a BR. For- it failed because three four three, when they take risks, they don't take educated risks. They just do shit blindly. They see another game successful, and they go, "Let's try to copy that." And they don't do their own spin, and they just throw that shit in there. Like I'm pretty sure the movement system for Halo Five was a result of like Titanfall games. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what it is, man. And this was just me spitballing, man. I think the 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 problem with Halo, and 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 this is just from me being tapped into the community that I'm tapped in with, which is Call of Duty. Mm -hmm. When I do talk to Call of Duty players about Halo. Because Halo is my startings of a first-person shooters. Like, that was one of the first first-person shooters I've ever played was the original Halo. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. it's just like, when I talk to, you know, people who are maybe like 24, 25, 26, 27, mm-hmm. by Halo, they talk about how slow it is. Mm-hmm. They talk about how slow it is and how... Oh, it's just the same thing. You do the same thing on the same maps. and You know, it's the same this. And it's just like, I feel like y'all are missing the point. And I think that's the problem. Is And again, I've, I've said this in earlier podcasts before. I've talked about how people just need to cater to the community that they have mm-hmm. instead of trying to reach out 
and grab new people all the time. Take from Call of Duty's pie. Take from Apex's pie. Take from this per- Fortnite's player base. Just take the people who's been rocking with you for so long and just cultivate and grow from that. Like, x Define is the best example I can get you. x Define had one of the greatest falls in player counts to oh, any got, first person. You remind me. I got I to uninstall that shit. I forgot that shit's taking my space. I still space. have it installed. I still yeah, have it installed. yeah, no. That, yo, all right. I do have to talk about x Define. But it's in relation to Splitgate. So when we talk about Splitgate, remind me All about right, bet, that. Bet, 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 bet. So boom. Like, I think X Defiant now knows what it what its player base is and knows what they want. And now they're just cultivating on that. And I still follow a bunch of X Defiant pages. And mm. I'm seeing, you know, the content that they got coming in the next season and stuff like that. And it's like, y'all, I'm happy for them. That they just keep pushing the game forward and coming out with new content and listening to the community they have and not just the loud ass voices of people who were never going to play the game to begin with. They were never going to play the game. They were never going to buy the game. And that's what makes me mad about modern game, which we'll get to when we get the glazing uh, black Ops six. Right. <laughs> but it's just like, that's my biggest problem with games like overwatch X to find. I fucking would throw Apex in there because we got to talk about that later too. Apex, Concord, fucking Assassin's Creed. The loudest voices in those communities are people who are not even playing the game. Mm-hmm. People are not who are either never played it or just done with it. Right. You know I mean, and I would kind of listen to the people who played it and are done with it, but at the same time, it's just like. The majority, dog, of those people who are bitching and complaining are people that were never going to buy the begin- game to begin with. All those people trying to debunk the Yasuke shit and this, that, and the third with Assassin's Creed. No, I, just, I thought shit that like shit that. was. I, I thought were, that shit that that shit was so funny. But the thing with that controversy is the fact that it exposed the whole dude for being a fake historian. Yeah, and yeah, I was man, like, that shit was crazy. That, that shit, shit crazy. is the wildest roller coaster yeah, of drama. Got a, they got a whole dead. It was like, that, yo, man. we There's don't want no a way. black guy in our in our samurai Assassin's Creed, and then some dude was like, oh, yo. Yo, but this dude actually lied about his lore, and everyone was like, "Wait, what?" Like, that I was like, "Crazy, that's just crazy." <laughs> like, I don't like, even. I don't blame Ubisoft for that. I think it's just the funniest fucking like dude caught a stray and it blew up his whole fucking house. <laughs> yeah, man, it's, it's crazy, dog. Because it's like going back to like the Halo thing. Like again, Asmund Gold to me has always been a. Diablo person, World of Warcraft person, you know, the, the, the Final Fantasy 14, he played that. Mm-hmm. Like, that's always been his sector. So when I see this nigga talking about Halo, I'm just fucking confused. I'm right. like, is, is this a voice that we're allowing to speak on behalf of the fucking Halo community on shit? When that nigga said the, the problem with Halo Infinite is that it didn't come out with a beat. Dog, Halo fans do not want to play a battle royale, dog. Like they don't want to play it, bro. That's Yo, not their realm. That's not I. I, I do need sector. to tell you because I do watch him a lot. A lot of the shit he says is just content farming for this type of reaction, <laughs> so he oh, can react shit. to it again. Oh, this shit <laughs> blows my fucking mind. That it's just like this is this is what the internet is now. It's just it's always, dude, it's always it's, been it's all like about this. rage hating instead of just I, man, it's just it gets on my nerves. Like I said, no, I feel you. I, I understand with all the, the, the weird shit around Concord with IGN giving it a seven. It's not a seven. It's, it's Joe, you know, that shit. All yeah, right. Not a seven. That was like, what the fuck? <laughs> like it's not Yo, a seven. They gave they gave Star Wars Outlaws a seven. Which and is they, a seven. Which is and they gave seven. Concord a seven. And I was like, those are like like I understand, like if a if a if a hero shooter is really good, like Overwatch is like as much as people hate on it, it is a really good ho- ho- hero shooter. Like that's like an eight nine style ha- hero shooter, right? It's just maybe n- like when it came out, but nowadays it's like probably like like an, a seven because of nobody like, will ever be able to replicate what Overwatch did. No, like that Deadlock game is doing something 
kind of similar, but it's more of a MOBA third person shooter. Yeah, they're doing like a league league thing, and like, don't get me it wrong, works. it works. Wait, it are works. we? Oh wait, I'm not. I don't think we're supposed to talk about Deadlock. No, you can stream it in anything. That, that, that we talk about that shit. Did you play it? Yeah, I played it a bit. I got invited. Yeah, I got invited too. We'll talk about that later. But just going on with this is just like I I, I don't understand that shit, man. Right. I don't I don't I don't understand. I like like I said, man. If you don't, if you're just not involved with something, dog, that shit shouldn't bother you enough that you that you raise up pitchforks and get angry over shit. Like, no, I just, like I I can see it from like somewhat a perspective of like I'm scrolling through my feed, I see a Madden game, and I'm, and they're saying Madden such and such is X Y Z, and I go, oh well. I don't really like Madden that much. I, I, I'm going to just type my opinion on this comment section here and then just keep it pushing. And then I get replies and talk in the comments and shit like that, right? Like, I don't usually comment on stuff that I, I don't have really, like, much of an opinion on. But, like, I can see people, like, passing through, dropping a comment, whether it's positive or negative, and then going on, like, on, on with the day or, 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 like, talking with the chat or their comment section in there. But, like, people see, like, me, I would have to, like, go out of my way. Like, I don't even, I didn't even, like, like research shit for the Concord thing. I just, like, see it on my feed. It's, like, an IGN post, or it's, like, a uh, PlayStation post, and I just go, damn, that's a damn shame. And then I keep scrolling. Like, that shit is, like, the funniest thing to me. Like, people get really upset about, like, a few, few, like, like shit that doesn't even really matter in the long term, but like, I, I don't really like give much of a fuck, honestly. Like, I just want to have play fun games, and I don't want all the bullshit out of out of the fun games that like causes it to not be fun. So yeah, man. Like the West has got to, and we'll talk about Black Myth Wukong. Both of us have not played it. You know I mean, oh, I'm not playing like, it until I beat Elden Ring at least. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, I'm, like... I'm, I'm playing it way later. You know what I mean, but it's like I think the West needs to learn from what's going on in the East, man. Just just make a good game like Stellar Blade. Stellar Blade's a good example. Just make a fun game that mm -hmm. people are gonna enjoy interacting with. They're gonna enjoy the art style, the characters, all of that shit. Mm -hmm. Just stop with all this fucking pandering all the goddamn time. But it, again, like I said, man, I think the problem is with all the yelling and the and the bickering and complaining is the thing that I'm scared of as a you know actual gamer that plays no, okay. a lot of games. You know what I mean, you know, and invest in these things and stuff like that is that I, I'm I'm afraid that. These games just don't get a fucking chance anymore, bro. They they don't even they don't, bro. That fucking Wolverine game got leaked like a year ago when they got hacked and shit. When the, oh the, yeah, I forgot they, when they got that. hacked and people were sitting there like, "Dog, this game looks garbage, bro." It is literally not even done. They did the same shit with GTA. The game's not even fucking done, cause like. What the fuck is wrong with y'all niggas, man? Like, well, it's, this it's is just, this is why I don't go on on Twitter because there's a lot of Twitter brain rot, mental like people just don't know how like shit actually functions, and you can explain it to them, and they go, "Oh, well, clearly you're a bad actor or a bot, so I'm not gonna believe you." And it's just like, I, it's there's just no like, point, bro. What? What? Like what? Like what? And it's like these games don't even get a fucking. Ch they don't. They don't even get a chance, bro. Nope. And and the, the thing that's scaring me is that, as you see, with the industry, at least on the west side, China going crazy. But that's a whole another conversation that we need to save for an entirely different podcast. China's going crazy, but it's like on the west, it's just like it, it's become the same shit. Sequels, you know, which are safe remakes which are safe. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Following the formula of Call of Duty, which is safe. It's just all safe. There's no innovation, man. No, like but that's that's like, why... Like games like High on Life is, is a really good example. It's a great game. I never played it, but I watched people play it. And yeah, it looks like it. a it's ton great. of fun. It looks like a great game. 
But unfortunately, Ooh. a lot of like a lot of companies won't take a risk on a game like that. That's I'm why I'm kind of nah. like hype. I'm hyped for games like Hell Divers, right? Hell Divers Two, fucking phenomenal. Game's dead. Game's dead. This ain't deader than Concord. That's for no, damn sure. <laughs> no, I watched. The, I watched the. I watched the. Uh, um, I seen a tweet the other day, and it said it said Hell Divers Two had Game of the Year in the palm of its hand. And in 30 days said, nah, we don't want that shit. I said, yo, that's the realest tweet I've seen all year, dog. That that is that is true. I'm not gonna lie. Like Bro, they could have they should have did a lot of was they should've, amazing. They should have not done a lot of the stupid especially Sony on that one fucking shit. None of that should have happened. And it's I like I think that's like 25%. The thing, the of thing it, is, the thing is, like Depending on how Space Marine Two does next it's week, gonna do good. it's going to do good because I have the roadmap. There's plenty of gameplay. It's, there's a fully fleshed out solo campaign with co-op. Yeah, um, I might get that shit. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in come, with you. Come comp the the ultimate deluxe edition with me and BK, and we'll we'll, we'll play it. It's three player co-op. Yeah, I got, I got I'm, I'm black stream, and, I'm gonna stream it on Thursday. Foxy got that shit. Black and Foxy got that shit. Yeah, I'm gonna stream it on Thursday. I don't know, with with or without you, right? It, we gotta fight for the ninth, empire. right? The fifth, if you got the early access, John. I'm not doing that. That's the ultimate deluxe, John. I'm not doing that. You're not gonna do that. I barely want to spend seventy dollars on this shit. It's it's like what six? Me, I've told Foxy and Black they're really excited for this game. And I'm it excited looks really for it too. Good. I, I think it's gonna be a sleeper hit of the year. But I think with my friend group, the problem with my friend group, and I t- I tell these niggas all the time, is that we buy a game, we play it, we glaze it for like two, two three minutes. weeks, and then we never fucking play it again. And you go we back never to call play it, it yeah. again. It's because you guys are cod, cod, but cod guys. Yeah, man, we're cod guys. Man. It's cod guys. Cod <laughs> we're cod guys. guys. We bitch about things we like. <laughs> That's right, man. That's right. Is that our segue? Is that the perfect segue? No, it's not the perfect, the perfect segue. segue. No, it's not. We're not talking about black Come ops. Come on, man. Yet. Is it time? No, is no, time? no. I gotta, is I gotta time? edge you some more. All right. Nah, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm ready to go. I want. Bro. No, I'm no. <laughs> nah, no busting yet. No busting. I'm ready yet. to bust, man. You can't bust yet. <laughs> I'm ready to bust, man. We need to talk about a couple more things before we get to that. All right. All right, man. I All apologize, right. listener, man. You gotta wait just a little bit more to it. get what y'all want, man. I yeah, know what well, y'all he, want, man. He can put a time stamp in, in the description for the YouTube I won't do it. <laughs> I need I need y'all to listen. Just listen <laughs> to what we're talking about. We'll get there when we get there. All, All right. right. All right. All right. So the other thing, all right, because like let's put a let's let's put it like a, a pin in the whole gamer rage shit for yeah. now. Cause like to me, I think like half the criticism is valid. People that are complaining about the game, like that aren't gonna play it. There's some people that aren't gonna play it and just hate the hate because that's all they do. But there mm-hmm. are some people that want to play it and they see stuff that they don't like and they don't want to you know. Waste the time and effort to invest in the money, game. man. Hell yeah. yeah. And so I like on like it's hard to differentiate the point, the voices that are just hating the hate, and people are just like, "Yo, this like looks cool, but like I don't like that part." Or are you guys gonna do X, Y, and Z? Blah blah blah. blah. And like I think as gamers, we should make our voices heard about shit we don't like. But I think like the pointless hate shit just confuses the devs who are already seem like they're confused about shit because like. I mean, like, unless, of course, you're a hell diver and you're like, everyone in unison is like, hey, stop nerfing guns. And Arrowhead's like, nerf guns more? Nerf fire? Fire? Nerf it? <laughs> like, but I, I think, I think in general, I think you should, if you st- spend more time just re reevaluating what you're about to say and go, oh, you know what? I'm really not worth saying it if I'm not actually going to play this game. I will talk shit on Call of Duty every day of the week, though. I will. I mean, I do that, not give a fuck. That's because that's the that's the most popular game. That's no, the, I I, I will I greatest. would talk shit on Call of Duty even if it wasn't. It was the great. It's the greatest shooter of all time. I don't believe that. Nothing will ever beat it. I believe that is that is the fast food of the shooter franchises. Been fast out for food. twenty Easy. years, man. 
easy, easy to uh, digest. Easy and at to this get point, into. Titanfall three can't even can't even. Don't say, you say it, that. Man. Don't it even can. say that. No. We'll get to it when we get to it, though. No, no. We'll get to it when we get <laughs> we to will. it, though. We will. Stop, stop trying to bait me into this conversation. EA is cooked, <laughs> dog. They cooked. It's over, man. They'll uh, never be able to make a shooter that's going to take Call of Duty out now. They waited too long. You know, you know what a long. good shooter is, though, that I have I have got to try recently. Tell us about it, man. Fucking Split Gate Two. You've been playing everything, dude. Yeah, I, I'm been. I got invited to so many fucking alphas. This shit is is mind blowing. I, I got too, man. I got into the uh, what's it called, Alpha? The um, Delta Farce, John. I didn't get into that shit, dude. That man. that game is actually like low key are uh, like a, a decent battlefield game. Like it's, it's yeah, a, man. It's pretty cool, but I'm not gonna talk too much about it because I, I I haven't spent time in the extraction mode that they they were advertising. It Apparently, like a, it's really good. It's really good. A lot. There's a lot of people playing it, and it's it's it is fun. I they stole the hero shooter aspect from 2042 and for the weird, um for weird. the battlefield mode, but it's like. Their abilities don't suck, so I I don't know. It's at, like it's not like oh I have a rocket that I can control, right? It's like like actual shit that's probably useful in mid combat. I'd rather play it shit on console. It probably will come out with a console port. I I can see them doing that, but it is it is hectic. I their their vehicle combat's like it's kind of kind of all over the place. I don't know. I, I hope they do just like regular conquest mode. Why can't we instead? just play Planet Side too, man? Um, because it's old and it's pay to win. I want to play that game again, man. I have to re-download that. Yeah, all right. You have fun with that. That game was fun back in the day. Yeah, back when nobody had money. Until you realize <laughs> that holy shit, this war is never gonna end. It, it, like, never, it, it just, that, that's that's the whole point of the game. <laughs> bro, you log out, you take a whole sector. You like, I wanted to get I wanted to get back into it because they had like cruisers or some shit, and I was like, yeah, oh, it's just space yeah. combat. And then it's like, nah, it's just like it's just a cool thing you can hang out in, and then also like use for combat sometimes. But um, Split Gate Two uh, took what X Defiant was trying to do and did it fucking better, and I was like, huh. That's crazy. There's no fucking way. So, obviously, the original Split Gate was marketed as Halo with portals. Uh, they could probably market the Split Gate too as better than X to Fight. <laughs> uh, That's crazy. It's not crazy because it's still this core mechanics of Split Gate with the portals, right? Yeah. But, but they also have improved movement mechanics. You know, you still got your jetpack. You can slide, right? And you could slide cancel. So there, there you go. You you got that. Um, they have, they have guns based on factions, not just like a creative class. So it's, it's still like, um, like depending on which character you choose offers a passive for your whole team and not just like yourself. Um, and I'm not sure if the passives stack or not, but I kind of do like how they blended like the call of duty loadout shit with the arena shooter style, if that makes sense. Uh, elaborate on that a little bit. So, so I you, it's like I seen it's like you can make now a, it's like there's classes and shit, right? You can make a class slash loadout, right? But mm -hmm. the loadout is based on the faction you're playing. Okay. So you get an ability that's based on the faction you're playing. You get gadgets that are based on the faction you're playing. You get a passive that affects the whole team based on the faction you're playing. And even the guns are faction based. So like there's the uh, DPS fast faction, uh, the arrows dudes, they go in and out. They have uh, stims that heal themselves and make them faster. They have perks that are relevant to movement. Um, they have a, a frisbee that literally stuns you or destroys portals. They have um, uh, an ability that gives them an overshield, essentially an extra health health bar, and makes them faster. Um, and overall, they're like the rusher guys. They're the they're the guys you play when you just want to frag out, right? And, like that's their whole role in 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 the whole John. And I think their passive is like a cooldown on the active skill for all teammates. So like, if you have one of them on your team, 
you're not like just playing with a guy that's just going to die like a thousand times, right? In TDM game mode, right? Like he's he's actually contributing even if he sucks. So there's that. You have the uh, I forget what they're called, but they're like the purple guys. They have the ability to like throw down like time barriers, basically speed up your teammates, but slow down your enemies. You can shoot faster in them, move faster in them. Um, they have the ability to do passive like health regeneration for the whole team. Like your health starts regenerating faster when you take after you take damage. Uh, they have like healing grenades. They have uh, they have wall hacks, which I think probably should just get. I, I think abilities where you can see through the walls and actually like pinpoint, see how people are moving should just be removed from games entirely unless they're PVE. Like, I, th- I think that shit is like super fucking uh, lame when it comes to like competitive base shooters. I think it's just like if you, you kind of like just I don't know. It's, it's, I know it's an ability, but it's like it's, it's shit. It can be broken. And probably like it'd be like having Bloodhound's vision turned on like for thirty seconds straight, instead of just having like that one ping or whatever. So, I th- I think those dudes are like unique in a way where it's like if you don't want to frag out but you want to support the team, and you want to be basically intel based, um, that's what they do. They also have their own set of guns and junk. Um, they have like a weird railgun shotgun thing where they have you have to charge it up, but it's a, like a long range, almost like a mid range shotgun. Um, and then you have the the heavy heavy dudes that drop like energy shields. They're called smart shields. You can shoot through it from both sides based on uh, what your teammate is doing. Um, the only thing I don't like about that is that if you encounter those dudes and they have a point lockdown, there's no way to really deal with the shield without just straight shooting it. You know, it's not like in halo where you throw down a bubble shield and you, your enemy, it's like almost like a neutral thing and the enemy can just walk right through it and shoot you. Right. Like this is like, Oh, we can keep switching sides and I'll always have the advantage because it's my ability. You know what I mean? So, Makes sense. And they're all their guns are damage based. Like they shoot slower, but they have like heavier, like they deal more damage. Um, which is pretty good. They have a really good shotgun, they have a really good AR and a really good carbine. Uh and their ability is all about like ammo, damage, and then like locking down points with shields and shit. So you have all three of those guys. I don't know if they're gonna add more factions as the game goes on or if more will come out when the game officially launches. I know it's gonna be free to play. But the way the games work, it's totally comp based. So TDM isn't just like get to 100 kills. It's literally round based first to 15 best of three. So you get 15 kills Um, more. The more you die, the longer your respawn timer is. So death is punishing in this game. It also I guess it punishes players for being bad if you die too much. Um, which I thought was like an interesting concept. I'm not a hundred percent sold on it because I I think the most frustrating thing you can do in a game is prevent people from playing the fucking game. Um, so like being stuck in a twenty second respawn timer is kind of crazy to me. Now this may just be the competitive mode. I don't know if they have casual modes like in the original Splitgate yet. That's like remains to be seen. But I gameplay wise. Like I, I do like it. I, I think it's a lot of fun. Um, they do have weapons on the map, like in the classic game mode, and it's only power weapons. One of the power weapons is really fucking cool. It's literally like a SMG that breaks into two guns, and it's just like it locks you out of using your abilities and gadgets, but it's like double the damage, and it's like fire rate is crazy fast. And then you have your rocket launcher that like shoots a rocket but you get three rockets per chamber but when you aim with it you shoot the entire chamber so you're like shooting three rockets all at the same time okay okay so as far as like all this stuff mixed together i think it's like a solid eight gameplay wise but as for like the content i that remains to be seen when the game actually comes out like if there's a progression system if there's like you know like how how they're doing like a ranked mode versus like casual modes. If they're bringing back like you know old stuff from Splitgate One, you know there's there's going to be a lot to just like kind of wait and see. 
uh visually it's really good looking like it's not terrible like it's not like i can't find enemies on the map like our style well is it, it it's good so i want to say it's if you can get into the next alpha or if there is an open beta try and get it try it out for yourself do you think the to, game will be out soon it's supposed to come out in 25 oh shit but based on what i was playing it's pretty well polished like we were, we were getting games pretty much instantly. We only had a few crashes, uh, but that's to be expected with an alpha. Um, like there wasn't like you know like any like like crazy major bugs. Like it's really really good, and it's on on Unreal Five. So, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be crossplay and coming to consoles. Okay, that's good, man. We got another little you know Friday night fight. Type game that we can all run together. Yeah, I, I like think the original Split Gate. You know yeah, I mean? I'm hoping they keep the casual stuff that the original Split Gate did, like you know, like all the zombies modes and like having like a really big custom lobby and everything. Yeah, yeah, man. I th- I hope so too. Yeah, the whole, I got into a lot of play tests. Like I got into that one. I didn't get a chance to play it. I got into Deadlock. I played a. Uh, match a match so i don't feel like that, i'm i can speak on it too much yeah i'm but not I gonna do, talk i do about like that look. i do i do i do like it and i do want to play more of it and maybe i will um the only play test that i played in as of late is a game called uh dragon ball z project multi oh know. shit what is that it is a dragon ball z moba game I mean, like League of Legends, but with Dragon Ball Z characters. Is it top think, down or is it like third person, like Budokai? Top, top down. So think of it. Think of it like you ever play that game, Pokemon Unite. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I never it, played it, but I've seen it. I know what you're talking about. It's literally that. It's literally that, but just in the Dragon Ball universe. Okay. Like literally. That's it's cool. Pretty, it's yeah, it's pretty dope, man. I I play like two or three games. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I I got a good little feel for it because I feel like with those types of games, like I just started playing a lot of Pokemon Unite again with the guys and stuff like that. Like we got a little group we play ranked and shit like that. So mm-hmm. it's like it was like perfect timing. Like I was like, damn, I'm starting to get like a groove of like this MOBA shit. And then here comes a Dragon Ball Z MOBA that looks really good. And I like Dragon Ball Z. So I was like, yo, this is kind of you know, this is something dope, and it was pretty cool. I mean, okay. it was pretty cool. Did you did you ever uh, get to play uh, Mecha Break? I did, man. I did. Yeah, I played it with you, man. Bro. Let's I'm, talk I'm, about it. That's a day one. That's a I mean, day one cop. Isn't it free to play? It's still a day one cop. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's definitely Bro, a day one that's 100 percent a day one cop. Like Gundam Evolution, I was like, oh man, this game almost has it down, right? Like it was a good, good Overwatch Gundam clone, whatever you want to call it. And then Mecha Break comes out with like this alpha test, and I'm like, all right, you know, I saw this on the John, I was interested. I, know, I didn't really trust it because it was like, um, you know, I w- I wasn't sure if it was like going to be like a, a cash grab type sh- situation or if it's like. You know, it's it's just like, you know, a, another game that's just kind of like a mid-tier mech game. And it plays almost ex- almost exactly like AC6. Like all like the HUD is all, the identical. The way you move around is identical. Like it, it is literally like a, almost a one to one. Um, But the combat's fucking phenomenal. And the classes of car- of robots you can play are fucking awesome i love playing as like uh the the default class is a lot of fun because you basically get like four lives and you have a lot of like range it's like middle of the range like he can shoot he can do melee attacks and then when he gets knocked out of his armor mode like he's faster and and has like a more lethal sword and shit and then you can rearm yourself and then you get knocked out again and then that's it like you die and you respawn you basically have like four lives at that point um Panther fucking class with the javelin shit is the funniest thing that to do is just to hit someone with the full charge and just lock them like just lock them down for like a good minute. Like I I think they nailed the melee combat to a T 
they definitely nailed a lot of the gunplay in that game. I think I think like the, what we we're, we're waiting to see is how they do their uh, little extraction shooter spin on it. Cuz the way you get stuff is to go into the extraction shooter, get the items and then try and get out so yeah. you can improve your mech and stuff. So I'm, I'm curious on how they're going to do shit like that. I'm scared the game might be played to uh, pay to win, man. Dude said no lie. microtransactions in that regard. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, good, that, good. there was like a whole. I'll I'll send you that uh, the interview with the dev. He's the, he has like a fit, fourteen minute interview just going over what he plans to do with the game. The, the game has a lot of potential, man. Like yeah. the game, the game is what me as a Mecca fan like. Armor Core never like just didn't do it for me. Like I didn't play it. Mm-hmm. But it just turned me off instantly when it was a Souls game. So I was just like, bet. You know I mean, like, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm telling I'm you, gonna, if you play it, play it, I'm going to play it. Play it. It's I'm totally for it to get a little cheaper, just a little cheaper. It's man. totally different than the Souls series, right? Like, it still has that, like, hard style combat, but it's like, like, it's still fun, like, in the, in the mecha sense. You know what I mean? But you don't feel yeah. like you're like, like, every time I play Elden Ring, Right, and I go up against the new boss, and I feel like, oh, my loadout fucking sucks for this shit. I gotta figure out something, you know. Yeah. Like, like in in this one, it's like, oh, you died. All right, so go back to the garage, switch out your parts, try this, and go right back into it. Whereas yeah. in Souls, it's like I gotta travel over there, I gotta get there, I gotta sit at this bonfire, wait till it's nighttime, and then and then talk, and then sit down again, so the guy will spawn in, like. It's it's pretty much straight to the point and a lot of fun and soundtrack is fire so I, I re- highly recommend AC six. Yeah, man, I I I like the Mecha Break shit though. I only played like five games. You play for hours. You do. I have you some, got addicted I'm, to that shit. That shit was fucking good. fun. Was, I'm gl- I'm glad, man, because when that shit comes out, man, I'm I'm getting a whole squad on it because dude, I was like playing beta, it off stream. I found out. Because the whole time that beta was going on, I mm-hmm. thought that I was telling people, like, yeah, this is an Xbox and PC, you know, type game. Like, the, the shit's coming to fucking PlayStation, too. So yeah, I, was, I thought it was right. multiplat. Yeah. So it's I was just like, being, okay, like, promoted by that. Xbox. Yeah, the whole gang can get up on that. And, yeah. You know I, mean? it, I don't know I if mean, there's going to be crossplay between all three, yeah, but, it, like. Yeah, it, it, it's going to be. I all right, that's good. Yeah, the, be- the beta was crossplay. Okay, I didn't know. I, like, it didn't tell you if like they were on a certain platform or not. At least I didn't notice. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I, I think it'd be a good little squad game. Man. Yeah, it's like six player co op, three players for the extraction sh- extraction mode, and then like, like it's dude, it's a lot of fun. I hope they flesh it out. They said they're gonna make the garage like a walkable space, like the whole the whole you know the garage where the hangar is, like the ro- yeah. robot is. They're going to make that a whole walkable space, you know, and they showed a little clip of like a nice, you know, female, uh, you know, pilot just walking around for like a few seconds, you know, especially Was like. Her ass fat? Yes. <laughs> this shit. That's what I really enjoyed about that game. <laughs> you know, the character creation we saw in some of the matches is fucking hilarious, dude. You can get a little, little creative with it. But yeah, man. I actually I hope that game comes out soon. And I think it's also, I think it's also going to be free to play. I, it did have a loot box thing system, but it mostly gifted you paints or uh, like perk parts for uh, like upgrading your engines and shit, stuff like that. Nothing like straight up damage style things. You know what I mean? Like where you would have like a crazy advantage in in a fight. Like it, and the way the the system works is like you you put one of those parts in your thing and you get a, like a slight increase like it's a balance like you can increase your health regenerate but you're all at the cost of like your shields power and shit like that you know what i mean yeah. so it's not like you can buy like a you can get lucky and get a legendary part and that you're just gonna be the best at the game because you have this it's really like to fine tune and tweak the characters um that you're playing as so i think as a as a uh as a as a mech game where the genre kind of like only has a few like heavy hitters nowadays, I think this is gonna be like one of the one of the better ones. You think this is gonna be that the one, man? I think it might be the one that that scratches the itch, bro. Like I really do. 
I think yeah. like ever since Titanfall and Gundam Evolution, like there there hasn't really been like anything other than like simulation style mech games and like I think this is gonna be one of the ones. Yeah, man. I think so too. Like I said, I only played a few matches, but I don't really need like a game like that. I only really kind of need a couple matches to kind of feel things out. And and I I liked what I seen, man. I liked what I played. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm ready. I'm just like you. I'm ready for it to come out now, man. I'm I'm ready to play, man. Let's let's play. Yeah, you know I mean, um. But yeah, I f- I forgot. I totally forgot all about that, man. I I played that too. But um, besides that, man, what what else? What else you been playing, man? Let's see. I have been playing Level Zero Extraction. Yeah, tell me about that. That's what I wanted. Cause I've been thinking about buying that. It's seventeen dollars. Go buy it. Go buy it. You don't have it's. It, I mean, it might be nineteen now, but like, go buy it. It's early access. It's. I it's think actually, it's still seventeen. I looked at it the other day. It's. It is a decent amount of fun. It's funny. Like I. I. It's not like I. I don't take it seriously, and that's the funniest thing about the game. Okay. Um, so like you know how Tarkov, it's like ultra realistic. You have to eat. You have to drink. You have to like the fuck the, i don't know if they added it but you might have to piss and shit too um and it's like you know you have all the gun customization and people are like super strategic and tactical and stuff like that in, in tarkov right and you got the prox chat and you talk to people mm-hmm. and then you have games like marauders where it's like it feels like you're in space and that's the cool part and then once you get into the actual like first person shit it's like cool for like three seconds and then it's like all right we're, we're fighting ai mostly and then we get sweeped by like some dude with a fucking lmg level zero extraction is like the most casual extraction shooter i've played thus far okay. like you have all the the same systems as like tarkov like you have reputation to upgrade with all these these, these vendors um there's one vendor, the gunsmith, that basically can get you everything in the game by paying, like, you know, the the money, the money for it. But you have to get to his reputation rank to do that. So that's a grind. So it's not like an easy, like, oh, I can just, you know, get money and then and I, and I have an AR. You have to actually get to that rank first. And okay. everything costs, like, a shit ton of money. So um, it has a system where if you, even if you lose all your shit, You'll at the very least get uh, a nail gun, some flares, a flashlight, and a health pen for like a basic starter kit, so you can go into a raid, get get some shit, and, and get out. I think the funny funniest aspect of this was the the fact that they have aliens you can play as. Like you have the ability to do a instead of doing like a scav hunt like in Tarkov where you play as like the AI take control of one of their loadouts and then just go go grab shit and leave. And this you can um play as an alien and they're still fleshing out the alien system, but you basically just go around killing people if you want to. I and like I've literally played it as like a passive alien and just help players like get shit just just because. And it's just like the funniest shit in the world. I've also been on the other side where I was the player and the aliens were like, oh, yeah, we're going to go help you guys. Like, <laughs> like it's it's just a weird thing that it's like, if you really think about it, it's like players can just fuck around with a with a hunt. But you, you know, those guys that run into like uh, like uh, an extraction, they have like the best loud in the, in the in the world, right? You can just be like, I don't fucking like you and just kill those dudes or harass them the entire time and not That's bother insane. anybody else and it's usually you can run with another alien so it's like two players for the alien uh hunts okay um, okay so as far as like gunplay works it's it plays pretty much like tarkov it has a little bit of like the weird head bob and like you have to pull your gun around and shit like that uh like weight on the barrel type shit um, but it's pretty solid. Like you, you will hit all your shots for the most part. Um, there are enemy NPCs that are like zombies and turrets and shit like that. So you got to be careful or alien gameplay is pretty much like the current alien that you can play as there's only one right now, but I think they're going to add more in the future. Um, is like an ambush style. You can cloak, you can lay eggs as like traps. Um, you have like gas attack, a spit attack, um, your very uh, light kills you, 
So you have to like play it strategically and like um, not get like exposed to the light. Otherwise, it will pretty much kill you. I think the only mechanic that I kind of hate about the aliens is having to eat like eggs on the map and you have to go find because if you die, you lose all your energy bar for the most part that you need to build up by eating eggs. And that also lets you use the higher tier abilities that you have, like the the, the radar scan or like the screech. Um, and I think like if you die, you should just keep your energy bar. I I, I don't know why it's like it, it's kind of punishing to be an alien. So you have to kind of play it smart. Um, like I get they don't want you to be overpowered, but like at the same time, like it takes me like ten, like a minute to get a full energy bar. Uh, why why is this like a system I, I think they should just do away with it completely and just have you spawn in with like an energy bar at full and all your, your some of your better abilities just on a cooldown so you can't just spam them immediately um i think that would be a better alternative but gun wise you get ars pistols flamethrowers uh shotguns they all have like different ammo types slugs all that stuff there's a lot of contracts and stuff like that. And I think they're going to add like lore stuff later down the line. Um, it's also interesting to play as like an, uh, a dude versus an alien. Cause an alien can see in the dark, whereas you're playing this shit as a regular guy. And it's shit is like a first person horror game. Like it's dark as fuck. You know, your flashlight battery dies all the time. And it's like, you're trying to like, just like not attract the attention of like other players and the alien, but also like get shit. Uh, extraction methods are pretty interesting. You can like go through like sh- like personal elevators. Um, there's like climbing ropes and junk like that. They have loot drops that happen mid map. Um, and there are like group elevators that you can take that only hold a maximum of like three people from the same squad. So you can't really like mix and match too much. Um, if you do link up with a bunch of people, which I have done, like I've I've run around lost my squad and found a bunch of other people who were chill and they were like all right let's run around and we had like a group of like six running the entire map it was was actually kind of funny but i think this is one of those games where it's like you want to get into the extraction shooter genre i'd probably give this a try like for sure before it was this is the the easiest entry easiest entry so far besides maybe dmz from cod or marauders Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm a cop. I think I'm a cop. Yeah, we should run I'm some games. I, I got I got it for BK. I wanna I wanna after Space Marine 2 drops, I wanna do like a little little session. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. What what else you been playing, man? Uh let's see, I beat Hail Wars again. Okay. That was a lot of fun. I was that game's playing. not that long, is it? No, it's, no, I have beat it in like a couple streams. Damn, okay. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna go on Hill Hill Wars too. Uh I think the following week. That game's on the Xbox. Xbox and... Yeah, it's not on Steam, which is weird. Yeah. Right? Because the original is on Steam, but the Xbox one the the second one, I don't think it's made by the same people, but it's still feel like it should just be on uh what's it called? theme as well but yeah it's on Hell it's on the xbox is, app. two is weird because it's like uh it's it like takes place in between the halo 5 and infinite yeah but it's like it's it's separated enough to where it's like none of that shit really kind of matters like it's yeah. it's more of a prequel to infinite than anything else because it yeah. sets up atriox and everything yeah man but halo wars 2 was good and i, I do want to go back and play it yeah, I've ne- I've never played it. I want to play. It. You should. It's 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 a decent game. There's a lot of like DLC and shit. Yeah, I just added that shit to my wish list. I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get that. Definitely gonna get that. What, what else you play, man? Did you play? You play anything this weekend, man? What you play this weekend? Oh yeah, so like I played Elden Ring, and we we like beat like a a boss, and then like I had a couple people help me out with these bullshit gob- uh, gargoyle bosses because they they they, t- oh, they you've been summoning one. people. Oh, yeah, shit. yeah. Well, it was a two v one, and they breathe poison, and they're full. They're, like they're bullshit 
right? The the worst bosses in in Elden Ring. I'm I'm claiming to be all right. Damn, bro. Like I can do one v ones just fine, but when you start summoning like thirty dudes at me at a time in, in that game, it's crazy. It's like what the fuck. And then they have AOE attacks that like just destroy you. So uh, yeah, I, I I got a little help. You know, I had I had I had had my best mod Ponut. You know, distract one of them while I fought another. You know, it was it was a good time. It was a it was a good excuse to get into some co op too. Um, let's see. I've been playing Halo, as you know. I play Halo a lot. Uh, uh you know, I'm trying to think if there any anything else that I played this weekend. Some sort of like, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. I, I, I... The nigga played Call of Duty, man. <laughs> <laughs> the nigga, yeah, the I nigga. played. I played the Blop Six Beta. It's that time, man. It was. It was pretty good. I'm about to bush. I'm about to bush. Hold on, hold on. I'm I gotta add you a little bit more. Nah, I like man. the movement in the new COD. I, I'm not gonna lie; it reminds me of like just just normal arena shooter shit with strafing and stuff. Like, mm-hmm. but I don't I don't feel like I'm locked down. Like, I don't feel like if I want to take advantage of sprint, I don't have to like turn into a direction. I like the omni. I like that. That's a good innovation, right? They have they have the uh, f- it's like first person Phantom Pain, you know. Mm-hmm. Or, or hell divers where you like you 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 lay on your your back and you turn around like a normal person would instead of like doing a full like turning your entire fucking torso and shit to like a direction because you like you would lay on your back if you want to look reverse or you lay on your stomach if you want to look forward instead of like oh i gotta swing my whole body around <laughs> like in classic video games yeah. i think i think that's good um that's really good man. I don't know what you guys were talking about. The PC people, were, mouse and keyboard people, were struggling with. Like, I, I, I had a bunch of games where I was like tearing it up after I played. Yeah, with I, I just been, I've been on Twitter a lot and yeah, you need to get and off Instagram that. and stuff. I don't know what, what, what were they complaining about. They just saying like aim assist is just aim assist for a long time in Call of Duty has just been a big buzzword it's like a buzzword right. i mean when a lot of these streamers die they always blame it on aim assist when when people die it's, it's always them. aim assist it's aim assist aim assist aim, aim assist, assist like assist, them getting killed or them their aim assist fucking up no like them getting killed by them being on mouse and keyboard and them playing against a um uh, uh aim assist you know, well oh, yeah it's a trade that's the trade-off though yeah like you can't like that's like playing Siege on console and have, plugging in a Zim and getting yeah. like getting mad yeah. you finally got killed by a guy on on a, on on a regular controller like it doesn't like that's the same shit with Halo like everyone's like in 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 Infinite um people are like oh you're on mouse and keyboard that's why you got that 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 kill like I'm like okay well you have fucking aim assist all your shots are hitting consistently i'm missing like half my burst from my br most of the time (laughs) like i don't like it my aim is completely dependent on me and you have this aim assist john that is helping you out like but we can both play essentially equally because like if you didn't have aim assist then yeah you you have a right to bitch they've they've done so much to to Appease the people with aim assist, man. Like, I with Modern Warfare 3 when it first dropped, it was like, well, when the beta came out, the big, mm-hmm. the big thing was, yo, we nerfed aim assist, and they did. They they literally nerfed aim assist. Like it that it felt like, oh shit, like I actually have to like shoot. Like I have to literally put some work into this. I right. mean, instead of just you know. uh having you know some type of assistance with it um mm-hmm. oh, but yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't by a lot it was enough to where there was like skill that had to be involved now you know right I mean? yeah um but this game uh the the aim assist went kind of back like i ain't gonna lie like the aim assist is kind of strong like you get the aim assist kind of strong like the aim assist definitely helps so I'm a controller player. Obviously, I play mm-hmm. Duty on my PS5 and 
it's pretty it's pretty it's pretty good. Amos is pretty good. All right. I mean that's fine. Right. Especially with the new movement, like you kinda you kinda need that when you're throwing yeah, your body yeah, yeah. I've the, seen someone playing on third person mode and like moving around crazy. and the camera is like feels like I'm in a fucking like blender, like Jesus Christ, dude. Like that shit's crazy. Dude. That is that was funny as shit to watch, but at the same time I felt motion sick after I was like, yo. Yeah, that Ain't shit, no way that I'm playing the game on third person. Like, but I'm what, not, what's I'm your not even on cat, dog? Like that. That shit's crazy. What's your new favorite weapon? Oh man, not that fucking jackal, dog. <laughs> I had a nightmare about this shit last night. Like, I I fuck. will I will say something. Uh, the pistol. The first pistol you get, I got a couple of attachments for it, and I, I've been just three shotting people with that shit. It's dog shit. Is it? Because I've been going on dog rampant shit. sprees with that shit. I, I got a silencer. I had a guy in my lobby uh, when we were playing last night. I had a guy in the lobby, and he was running around with that pistol, and he was he was like two, three tapping people too. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, I it's it's zombie, decent. So. But it also makes you run faster. And the only reason I was running it is because I needed to try out the hostage taking. Oh, did you fuck somebody yet? Oh, I fucked somebody. That's good shit. I fucked man. multiple people. I, I, I got I got I got yet. them all I got them all up. I, I kept gra- I felt bad because one game I kept grabbing the same dude over and over again. <laughs> it just was like I don't know. That shit is so funny though. I, I love did it. Talk to him. I talked to him. I was like, hey, man, how's your day? How are you good doing? Shit, man. That's good shit. So you started with the movement. So let's, 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 let, let's, let, let me bust real quick. All right. All right. You, you can bust. The Go movement is really good, man. It's really fucking good, dog. All right. The movement is, is the standard now for first person shooters. Like, I don't want to play an FPS game if it doesn't feel like this. Oh my god! Like, like, honest to god, like, yo, this is gonna sound weird as fuck in 2024. I played DMZ this morning. I played mm-hmm. DMZ for the first time in forever. I went back to DMZ to play it. I played like three games. We demolished the lobby. My last game on, we did really good. So I got some clips coming out for that because that was a pretty good game. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, the movement is fucking just. It's great, man. You can, like, like they, you know, show you can slide in all directions. You can dive in all directions. The movement just feels human. Yeah, you know I mean, I don't have to look the direction I'm trying to move. You know what I mean, or sprint in. Like I'm gonna do that because I have a body and my feet turn. And shit like that. It's crazy, I know, but yeah, the 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 movement is really good, man. The movement. I I, I was talking to some of the guys, and all of them said like, the uh, movement is kind was kind of overhyped. Um, I kind of understand that. Like, I kind of understand what they're saying. Like, they 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 kind of hype the movement up to be like really really fast, and it's. It is fast. fast. It's fast. It's, it's 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 not like crazy. It's not like I thought like the skill like moving into this game, I thought like the skill gap, like if you just weren't on point, like you just weren't gonna do good in this game. Mm-hmm. Like it's not as bad as I thought it would. Like a like a casual would have a good I mean I'm kind of excited to see what the open beta will bring. I mean, because uh, with this beta, it was closed to people who got a code mm-hmm. or people pre-ordered and if, or Game Pass, my fault. Yeah, I got Game Pass, so I, I got in. I was surprised so, I got in. So two of those people, right, two of those people, mm-hmm. uh, those, those groups of people, like 70% of them are sweats, though. Like 80% of them. Are oh, sweats. no. Like literally every lobby I got was sweat it's, fest. It's, like, it's insane, it was... dog. It's insane. It's it was insane. like I was getting turned on by dudes that had like a sniper rifle and they just did a 360 
dolphin dive just to turn on me and just like scoped in and shot the shit out of me. I was like, bro, I don't even. It's, it's, I it's I haven't wild, played Call man. of Duty since the Modern Warfare Three beta. <laughs> so, but you know what? As please? a COD player, right with this game, this was what I was looking for Call of Duty to do, man. Like boost the elo. Let's get this. Let's get this. This. The skill is going to come out of people. Like, th- this is going to be the game to kind of test people. Because Modern Warfare 3 wasn't easy, but it wasn't, like, hard. It wasn't, Modern like, War- that Modern bad. Modern Warfare 3 was literally the same game as the other one. That Modern Warfare yeah, but ended. just better movement and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But at the end of the day, I felt like it was still... A uh, pretty grounded, simple game that, like, again, I could play with, you know, people that aren't too good at first-person shooters, and they do mm-hmm. all right. Mm-hmm. And the weird thing with this game was I was playing with a couple people who I'm not going to say their name. I ain't going to put them out there on blast on the stream, on the, on the, on the podcast. You know I mean? But you can watch the stream. I mean, the stream got all that information. You know what I mean, but um, I... Uh, they did really good, man. They were doing like they were they weren't like keeping up with us, but they were like doing better than I thought they would do. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. I thought like my friends that really don't play Call of Duty that were playing this joint were just gonna get absolutely demolished every game. And it wasn't like that every game. It was like some of them games, it was like, damn, bro, you really went two and nineteen. But I think that's also that leads into another thing of how um they they went back to Black Ops 4 and made assists count as kills. I think that's another tactic that they're using to kind of keep the casual audience engaged in the game because, Mm -hmm. you know, that's what everybody cares about in Call of Duty is their KD and how good they're doing and stuff like that. So even if you put a bullet into somebody, you don't kill them, but somebody else does, it still counts as a... Uh, elimination. For I did. You. I didn't notice that that as well. I was like, "Oh, I didn't kill that guy. Why did he die?" Right. Yeah. Um, I I don't. Me personally, I don't like that because that doesn't tell me how accurately I'm doing. Um, it's like you're lying to me. It's like I I if you say assist counts as kill, like in Battlefield, like I'm like, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. But um. Like giving me it just saying elimination and I'm like, oh okay. But I don't get any medals with it. That's kinda how you know you didn't do anything. Yeah. Really. So I'm like, all right, so I shot the shit out of this dude. Just give me the assist. Like that's the whole point. Like like I'll I'll take an assist out of anything uh else. Yeah. I'm, I'm just... expecting that to be rectified on the combat records when the game fully drops, because I'm pretty sure with Black Ops 4, that's what it did the same thing. It was like you put a bullet into somebody, but you didn't kill them, and mm-hmm. somebody else did. It was elimination. But when you looked at the combat record, don't quote me on this, but I do think when you looked at the combat record, it told you how many actual kills you had and assisted kills you had. Mm-hmm. So it was like it, it separates it within a combat record, which we don't have access to in the beta. But, um, yeah, I think that's a reason why they did that because, again, in, in, in my eyes – like when I went into this game, I was like, I was kind of like, I was kind of scared, bro. When I first played this joint, like I'm not gonna lie, if you you watch the stream, you know, like I was frustrated as fuck. Like my first like, oh yeah, two I was, hours playing the game, I, I was in. stressed out. I was Dang. stressed out. I was like, bro, this game is crazy. Like, what is going on? And then I just had to readjust. I had to kind of fixed the way that I was playing. Like, Mm -hmm. I had to kind of, all right, these maps, which we'll get into for this nice little segue into it. The maps, we we only have four at Scud Rewind, which came out yesterday. I I like Rewind a lot. Really good, really good. Yeah, it's a really good map. That's going to be a comp map for sure, like 100% a comp map. Uh, it's, It's Scud, that, Derlich. And the best map, Skyline. And all Skyline four of those too. maps, it's so good. It, all four of those maps, except for Scud, that shit is ass. That map. <laughs> There's always a shit. map like Scud, though, right? Like, I'm not wrong. Like, in Modern Warfare 1, it was that one map where everything was just blowing the fuck up. Yeah. And then it's like, 
bro, why why does this map exist? Like it sucks. It's because it's because every once in a while they fuck up when they when they make these maps. Like that is a super one sided map. Like mm-hmm. they they always have a Call of Duty that's like in every Call of Duty. There's always like, like one or two maps. Yeah, like if you're on the radar like, dish, oh, you have the advantage because yeah, you have the you high have ground. The absolute yeah. advantage. Yeah, like, no. Like it's just if you have seaside, like you're just. You're, 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 you're kind of fu- no, I know because every time I play that map, I'm always on that side and I always get shit on. And I was like, oh, all right. And the moment we switch, we flip the spawns, it's like, oh, okay, we're good now. We're doing better. And I'm like, I wonder why. It's because we have yeah, the advantage. One sided ass map. But yeah, Skyline is like Skyline. I, 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 I love the interactivity with that shit. That shit is so funny. <laughs> Such a good map, man. Like, this is Treyarch cooked. I'm just gonna I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a, I'm a glaze it now. It cooked. And it's like I said, when I first was playing the game, I was getting very frustrated. I was like upset. I'm like, bro, like this TTK is fucking wild. And we found out the game does have some balance issues. It is a beta, so a lot of these guns are broken. The Jackal PDW, if you didn't know. Uh, was trending on Twitter. Uh, it was it the the, the phrase yeah, the was, jackal was the actually, Jackal is actually is yeah, it's crazy. It is crazy, dog. Dog, we were in a game earlier. The entire kill feed was just everybody running around with a jackal. Yeah, like, there was one dude. We, we were playing, jackal. and like the dude had like two jackals. He had one yeah, for man. long range, one for short. Dog, it, the, <laughs> the gun is insane, bro. I, I'm gonna put it on wax right now. My predictions for that gun is: I don't think they're gonna nerf it. Like, God, I should. think if they do nerf it, it's gonna be very slight. But I it's don't think range. that I don't think that's gonna be a starter, um, a, a starter uh, SMG. Like I don't think at level one or level four or five you'll have that unlocked. That's gonna mm-hmm. be like a level forty gun. Like I can tell. Like we're gonna start with the C nine, which is crazy because that I just found sucks. out last night that Nah, man, that's the that fastest. Gun that guy's got the fastest TTK in the game, man. Yes, I know. Got the fastest TTK in the game, bro. I I, 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 I tried. Listen, I'm gonna just put it on wax too. I've got like almost 30 hours in this beta, dog. I'm a fiend, dog. I've got like 30 hours. I got like 12, like 15 hours Mm. within the first day. Like I, I've been cracked out for this beta. I've been having a lot of fun with it. Again, just, just for this podcast. Like when I was talking about on stream, I was fucking pissed off i was i was angry about the balancing because the jackal is really fucking strong dog so when you try to use other guns and you're using an ar which is good for like mid to close range and you're getting bodied by a motherfucker that's like 50 meters away with the fucking smg you're gonna get pissed off bro yeah. so i was getting really that. frustrated until I really kind of learned again the movement. Mm-hmm. I kind of learned to incorporate my movement well within the map. So I was like, all right, at this when I, when I'm going into this area, I should you know jump in or I should lean this corner, or which is a really cool mechanic when you aiming down sights and you like cut a corner. Oh, yeah, the auto it lean. Auto, it auto leans. It's for you, it's so. bad because I played Siege. I, I played Delta Farce that has a lean mechanic in it, and I'm like sitting here trying to manually lean from like yeah, a man. distance and do like a yeah, man. It's, it's, I I love the auto lean shit. Like that that's they cooked it, Treyarch cooked, but that gun is just it, it is ruining. It ruined kind of the beta experience because again the the my biggest problem with this beta has just been balance and i'm trying not to let it be such a big thing because again it is a beta i'm hoping that a lot of these issues are fixed it it seems like now since we have i don't know if a lot of y'all know but for the past couple call of duties i think there's only been three body quadrants there's like your head your torso and your legs that Mm -hmm. Signify damage and stuff like that. So if you get shot in the legs, it's obviously less damage than getting shot in the chest. Now there's like six different quadrants. So it's like all different types of damage um being relayed now. And 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 I just feel as though sometimes the damage is just kind of like I, I literally the other day 
have a jackal. I was using the jackal because you know that's what you gotta use. You gotta use the jackal. I was using the jackal and I literally put like no bullshit, like like 38 rounds into a guy, and he did not die, dog. And I was like, wow, wow, this 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 shit is kind of crazy sometimes, dog. Like, but mm-hmm. other than that, like uh going into maps, like the maps are really good. They use the 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 movement. Pretty creative, I would say. What do you think? I think, uh, yeah, on maps like Skyline, there's a couple points where you can like, um, like jump into like like the swimming pool from from the the top floor and not die or take any fall damage. There's also like uh like a little window sill so you can actually cross cross like you know what I'm talking about where the uh, hot tub is. There's uh, a yeah. there's like there's a little ledge that like you know you can see the other side with the window. You can actually make the jump from there to the to the first window, and so it's oh, kind right. of like a nice yeah, oh, yeah it's a yeah, nice little biking yeah, route. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, because there's yeah. a lot of people that will just stand in the back where that piano is and start fucking sniping. Yeah. So it's it's a good way to counter them. Um, I think map like the movement paired up with a lot of the map design is definitely built for that that movement in mo- in mind where you're jumping around a lot. Which, by the way, Fortnite is back. Day one, Fortnite is back. If you fucking spam jump button, you're impossible to fucking hit. Apparently, um, I've I've run into matches where Welcome I've to lived. Call of Duty. <laughs> I'm fucking bunny hopping. It was like X Defiant too. Like you bunny hop, and it's like your bullets like just stop working. Nah, <laughs> like that I was shit like, was bad. Dash X Defiant was different because it broke aim assist. It yeah. literally broke aim like well, once once think, you got once you jump in a gunfight or you you're shooting at somebody that's jumping aim assist is just like i don't, well, I don't know i'm, I'm playing on went. pc i don't have aim assist and i'm still yeah. i'm shooting my lmg with a hundred rounds at a guy who's jumping and only like i want to say like 20 percent of my bullets are actually hitting and I'm like, Man. what the fuck is it's, going it's, on? It's insane, dog. I don't think it's an aim assist thing. Dude has like fucking iframes when he jumps. Like, what the fuck? Like, no, I'm trying. I'm trying to tell you, man. Like, j- jump shotting has just always been like with Modern Warfare Three. It was like just that's why I bought a pro controller. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you. I brought a pro controller just so I can have back paddles to fucking be able that's to. That's why jump I like shoot. I like Halo because when you jump, it's it's punishing. I mean, it's you. You have to make a conscious effort to not jump, and when you do yeah, well, jump, it's like you're locked in. The, you're you're in the air now, and you're you're probably gonna die. And but yeah, no, I I like I like I like rewind because there are like open like there's there's buildings, multiple buildings you go in and out of. Parking lot it spans the entire map, so I don't feel like I'm totally like like unable. Like it's not a lane map, right? I fucking yeah. hate maps that are lanes. Like Scud is like a is like you have a building, satellite dish, and then you have three lanes, and that's, that that shit. I hate that shit so much. Like it's yeah, man. it's. I, I get what they're Derelict trying to do. Is. Derelict is the same way. It's three, three Derelict lanes. is like it's not a lane. It's a free for all map, and it's, they're it's using, a clusterfuck. Yeah, it's a clusterfuck. It's it should be a free for all map. It shouldn't be a, a TDM. It's map. a good map. I don't know why. Like j- like uh. Jaden doesn't like he hates that fucking map, but it's because it's the really same weird. problem with Scud. You have one side that has a fucking tower and the other side doesn't. That's that's the issue. It's just smaller scale. Yeah, but no, uh, dude, I'm uh, no bullshit. Literally get sniped from that fucking tower no, on yeah, spawn. Yeah, yeah, but you can also argue on a point like they have the uh, they have that little ledge right there that literally gives you like an open view of not only the lane to your left the middle lane and all the way the far side rock so side. counter so counterpoint i can shit. shoot you through the wall on that little ledge you're talking about from the yeah, tower you can you can you yeah, can and, and it, i can that's I can. just like a little uh, thin metal thing right there. no but you that's that's that. that's what i'm saying like there is no real like the advantage is not as that once as one-sided as um it's as it's good is it's better if you're from the tower side in in my opinion, if you spawn on tower side, you're gonna have an easier time getting picks. I think the the issue is that it's not a TDM map, it's not an objective map, it's a free for all map, and it should think, be a free for all map. I think with that map, even if you're on A side, which is the side you don't like, 
Mm-hmm. And, and I was telling Jay this. I think even with A-side, the best thing about A-side is you can you can run, you know, rock, where that rock is, where that little wall is uh, defending the tower point. Mm-hmm. Like, you have a, a easy lane right in the Z to see. So you can literally pick them off from their spawn. Like I, and, and the tower can't see you from there. No, so it's like so objectively the, you can just play that side. You can, but the, what I've run into is literally you run to that side and half the team is just sitting there waiting for you. You can't run like deep in that bitch, but you can play. You can't that even wall. turn the turn the corner and go through the rock. Like that's that, what I'm saying. Uh, I played that rock a lot, man. I got 30 hours in this bait. I played a lot of that. I rock literally dog. every time I played this map four four times back to back when I when I was like not like playing with you guys and literally every time three dudes in two dudes in three dudes in and yeah, then man. i get sniped from the fucking tower <laughs> like yeah, man. that map should just be free for all i should be a free for all i should say too man like you think it should be a free for all map i think it should be i think it should be one of the few free for all only maps like uh i think you uh, should make it a comp map jesus christ no nah, it's too small <laughs> I don't, think Sky, be crazy. I don't think Skyline should be a comp map. I think I think Sky, no crazy. Skyline. I no Skyline. It should be because Skyline has multiple routes that you can take. It, it has it has bad hard points though, and you know hard points a comp game mode. It has really like I I'd have to to change my mind on that. I would have to see. Where they search were, and destroy I mean, is played on that map. I gotta yeah, see what that is. I mean, like the hard points, they can always move. They can always patch that. But yeah. as as far it, like this is a beta, it's not gonna be set in stone for yeah, sure. Of course. But like map wise, like design wise, if you were you're talking straight, like just like like getting around, there's not too many choke points you can hold. There's plenty of ways to get in and out. Like you got the vents, you got the the roofs, you got you can go through the middle section, but there's multiple rooms to go in and out of. Like I th- I think compared to derelict where it's literally like all ground level except for that tower like that in on top of the trains what in on top of the trains my fault i mean the trains is like you get on top you're dead <laughs> it's like you're just a walking talk target most of the time yeah, that's true that's so true. that's why the tower sucks because all the right, tower all right, all right now that I think about it cuz then you, you can't play top level if if yeah, that tower yeah. wasn't there yeah, I'd be like, yeah, it's a decent map, but the tower's there, so someone can literally watch half the top of the map. Like, yeah, you're not gonna be able to get the guys going in between the trains as 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 quickly, but as soon as you climb up on the trains, it's, it's a wrap. Like you you zoned in, you're dead. That's it. Yeah, all right. I I just thought about it. Yeah, that probably wouldn't be a good comp map. Yeah. Free for all map. I don't know 100%. if Skyline would be a good comp map, though. Skyline that- has multiple access routes. You have shutters you can manipulate to kind of, like, change the flow of battle. Which is not good for comp. That was it's- the problem with Vanguard. I, I don't know. Shoot out, when you can shoot out, like, Vanguard had destructible environments to a certain point. Right. So, so you, can, you can blow up, like, certain walls and shit. So it fucked up, like, when they played Hardpoint on, I think it was, like, called Chateau or something like that, one of the maps... It was just, it was completely unbalanced. Like the one hard I, points, like it, there was, they there would was have too to tweak many it. Joke points. They would have to tweak it with the, the functionality in, in mind, or they'd have to disable it for comp. That, that would be the only yeah. two things. And now I they think all, they always have a strict rotation with their, with their CDL playlist. Like with Modern Warfare 3, it's literally, I think it's only Invasion, Five Star, uh, but uh, it was um what's the map that I fucking hate the snow map a oh, sub base um what's the other comp map there's like four or five comp maps and there's like twenty something maps in Modern Warfare three like they only use four or five maps for comp so okay. I'm trying to I'm trying to like think because I'm playing comp when it comes out season one of Black Ops mm-hmm. they already confirmed like it's coming and I want to. I want to be up in there because I know, like I said, like I, I, I've been waiting for this Call of Duty for a minute. Like I've been looking at it. I've been paying attention. I like everything I've seen. Gonna, I'm, I'm probably going to cop this when it goes on sale because uh, I have Game Pass for a little bit and then I'm probably going to cancel that and then 
cop it when it goes on sale. So I'll be able to play it when it comes out. But after that, it's like, nah. Yeah, man. I think this is, I think, I think hopefully if everything that I've, I've peeped, because like I said, I spent a lot of time with this game. I spent enough. I don't really do betas for an extended period of time. Like I think with Throne of Liberty, I did like 10 hours, 10, 12 hours. I think with Modern Warfare 3 beta, I did like maybe seven, eight hours of, of gameplay with that. Yeah. But this I've, I've legitimately put close to, if not 30 hours. Into Dude, yeah. Game. No, I, I, I probably did the same with Mecha Break. Like, I understand. Yeah, I've, I've played a lot. So it's just like, I've got a decent feel for the game now. And it's like, I just want it to come out now. Like I'm at the point where it's just like I don't even want to go back to playing Modern Warfare Three. Like this, Damn. this to me is the new. Damn. This, this is it. This is it. And I know <laughs> on stream I was saying like, nah, this is a five. This is this. I once I kind of had to take everything in and look at everything and like face value. Like I'm gonna say it on podcast. You know, Foxy. It's definitely not an eight point five. It's more like a like a seven seven point five like it's it's damn near like a great i know when the game drops it's gonna be like a nine like it's gonna be like a nine close to a ten i can i can see it. it's probably oh depending on that campaign and depending, depending on, on the that zombies, campaign um, the zombies community is a little pissed off right now they, yeah they, what are they mad about liking, they're not liking that essentially the liberty falls map is a um it's like a it's like a ground war map of essentially okay you know what i mean so they're kind of pissed off because that's what they did with cold war with cold war they used maps from the multiplayer and basically made them zombies maps and oh like yeah shit. i feel I mean, I, like yeah no shit. the zombies maps should be their own thing that's yeah it. well they got the other map which is the prison map that mm -hmm. looks like it's the main main focus and that looks really good man that looks like a like a classic like me not being the biggest zombie player looking from the outside in this reminds me of black ops 3 zombies and black ops 3 zombies when it came out everybody hated it they fucking said this was the worst zombies shadows of darkness was like the the worst zombies map we ever got in history and then looking back all these years later, that was the best fucking zombies map we ever got. And I'm not even a zombie person. When I played that shit back in 2015, I was like, this is the best map we ever got. Mm -hmm. This is the best zombies map we ever got. So me being on the outside looking in at this prison shit, that looks like a really good and unique change and very, a really good shift in the, the zombies formula, I would say. I mm -hmm. do think this game is going to be really fucking good. And just based on a multiplayer alone, it's it's solid, dog. I, no, I think it's going to be good because I didn't get bored immediately. Listen, like man. I normally need to. And it's usually my thing with COD. Is like I'm, I, I'll jump in the Modern War I like the Modern Warfare 3 beta. I played that. I was like, I'm bored. Uh, Modern Warfare 2, I played a decent chunk of it. And then I got bored and uninstalled. Modern Warfare 1 2019 played it a decent a, a lot more than I probably would have because it was a newer take. Yeah. Uh, got bored and uninstalled. Like, I think the movement is probably what for me definitely doing it for me. Like, I do, like, I, I want to actually go and play the game, like, willingly. Now, like, while well, I still have the time to, but at the same time, like, I don't know how long this is going to last before I'm like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get bored. Um, but I think the movement definitely helps. And I think the map design from what I've seen so far, mm -hmm. with the exception of a scud and, and a little bit of derelict, I, 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 I think it, it could it could grow on me. Like the interactivity with the maps is like a plus in my eyes. Like being able to fuck around with the shutters, being able to like, open doors and shut doors, peak doors and shit. Like, I, like any more interactivity they could add to that, that would be great. Um, and I think, I think now it's just what guns are going to come out 
and whether or not it's going to be like I play this casually, like jump in from time to time, or if I'm like going to get addicted to it. But we'll, we'll we'll see. We shall see. I'm all in, man. I do want to play the campaign because fucking COD campaigns are usually good, except for the Modern Warfare one. Apparently, yeah, like after 2019, nice. that shit was like. Yo, we don't know what to do. <laughs> Here's a bunch of mechanics that you'll never use in the game like ever again. Like, I'm like, bro, what the fuck? But Black Ops has always been a decent uh, yeah. story mode. So decent hopefully, uh, hopefully this this will be like a good one. And, and, and it's doing espionage shit, so it's gonna be like like Metal Gear levels of like what the fuck? Yeah, man, it's, <laughs> it's, twists it's, and it's, turns. It's gonna go crazy, man. Like I said, Dude, I, I you know what I also found out. This so. is the first time I've played a Call of Duty in a while that has actually cursed you out. Oh, the announcers. Yeah, the announcers like, yeah. what an asshole. And I was like, what? Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah man. It's, it's been like that for a while. Well, How do I report the announcer for being offended? Yeah, but if I say that in game chat, here's a 14-day <laughs> ban. I was like, yo, I just got called an asshole by the announcer. That's awesome. Yeah, man. Like that's it's, it's, that's the COD that I, I I grew up with. So I'm like, why why don't you guys do more of that? What's up with all this? Like, like you have to consent. Like I, every time I load up the beta, first of all, loading up the beta is fucking annoying on PC. I don't know about on PlayStation, but it's annoying as shit. I have to load up the the core COD launcher menu thing just yeah. to launch the Black, Black Ops beta, Six. just yeah. so I can get the beta to turn on and then like it'll be like requires a restart so i have to do the whole process all over again and then for the crash and then me do it again and then i have oh, to it's go not that bad for us yeah yeah and then i have to go into uh the fucking eula or whatever it's called and like consent to not be a dickhead in voice comps like <laughs> I don't yeah, have to do this shit in Halo. Yeah, I Yo, the consent stream. shit makes no sense to me. Like, bro, if you get called a racial slur, just report them. Like, that's it. I think they do that so when they when they get rid of certain people for those things, mm -hmm. it's like, well, you you read the disclaimer. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I, I think... all these games have these disclaimers, like pretty much up front. Anyway. Yeah. Like, yeah, I, don't, I, I don't know. I, I think, like, going back to the game, I think this is, like, this is the best Call of Duty has been in a long, long time. Like, Modern Warfare 2, to me, was good. It was very, very good. It was, it was phenomenal, I would say. But that's only because of the bullshit we had before it. Like, mm -hmm. Vanguard was dog shit. Vanguard ruined Call of Duty again, almost. After Modern Warfare 2019 did its thing, Cold War just kind of uh, revamped it a little bit, but didn't do, do too much. I this, just it, this hmm. is how I feel about this Call of Duty. It's basically Cold War, or what Cold War probably wanted to be, but couldn't do because it was COVID and I'm just developing that shit. I don't know. I'm just I'm just funny finding funny this takes place in the nineties and not the eighties and it's like, oh man, we're old now. Yeah man. <laughs> They're basing time periods off of us now. Yeah, real shit, man. We're a genre. No. I see the VHS tape. I said, God damn, dog. <laughs> these these kids don't even know what the fuck that is. Like, what kind of crazy. ancient technology is this, Grandpa? It's it's, it's a video VHS tape you put in there. Nah, but, but I, I, like I, the gun variety too. Like we should just talk about this real quick. The gun variety is really good if you're not forced to use the jackal because you're gonna All be right. forced to use the jackal. I didn't even get it. Get to unlock it yet? I don't think. Um, but yeah, I, you I, unlock you... the jackal from the rip. I think. No, it's it's like a level like. 14 gun or something shit like damn you didn't get the level 14 yet man god damn i think i just got the level like 12 or whatever dude i again you have like 60 hours in i have like maybe bro. five <laughs> like, we, was, we was talking about it this morning we was like bro if if they would let us like hit max level and like prestige in the beta we would probably all be like prestige one almost prestige too that's how much we played this year yeah, no but like i'd like the the lmg like it, it fucked me up for a sec because it was an m16 with an lmg mag and i was like oh all right and i was like okay and i started using it i was like 
John had like no recoil with no attachments. It was like super well tuned. And I was like, how am I hitting shots with this shit? Like, yeah, it's pretty strong. Yeah. So like, I'm, I'm expecting that to get nerfed, but it, that's been like, I I'm running an LMG with a pistol and I mean, it's been pretty cool. I like that. They did the perk greed shit or like the wild card shit. Um, yeah. Like you can have that in there and then all, as like an extra free perk. And uh, they have the, the other uh, one's overkill. Yeah, they have the um, what's it called? Uh, fuck, what, what what's the shit called? Where you can like, if you pick three perks from the same category, you get an extra perk. Specialist, yeah. Yeah, you get a specialist thing. I like that too. I like, I like. It's pretty that. cool. I haven't used it yet, but it's I I cool. used it for for my current class. Like I've only just been using the one class, and I honestly don't care for it. Shotguns are weird. In this game, I think it's because of the movement that they're harder to use. I haven't opinion. used the shotgun yet. I just thought about that. Damn, I'm going to do that today. Yeah, so I, I tried it in the, when I first jumped in, and it was like I shot a dude, but he was like fucking tap shaping. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck? I maxed out the XM4. I maxed that shit out. Already? God damn. Le- level 46, dog. It's Bro, 46 I'm, levels on that model. I'm the type of person where if I know my progression doesn't carry over, I'm just going to put the game down after like a while, unless I really that's enjoy usually, the gameplay. Listen, that's usually how I am. That's why I put Throne in Liberty now. I'm like, yo, I'm not going to grind this beta, and I got to do all this shit again. I mm-hmm. did the same thing with Modern Warfare 3. I'm not going to grind all this shit, because mm-hmm. I'm going to have to do it again. But I generally really fucking like the game Cop six. I really fucking like it. And it was like, yo, all night we were like, yo, we're just gonna play one more game. Yeah. One more game turned into ten more games. It was like, yeah, no, we, I, we I got like this. that the, the when I jumped in after you were streaming. Like I, I I played for a bit with you guys and I was like, oh, I'm gonna be late for work if I keep playing. Dog, this shit was this shit's good, man. This shit, this shit is good. And you know it's bad. Like I, I seen a tweet from uh Act Man, he was like you know it's bad when the fucking Call of Duty community, who usually hates on every goddamn Call of Duty game, has nothing negative to say about this shit. Like to me, the only negative thing is just nerf the jackal, just nerf that shit. Like there's no yeah. way I should be using an XM4 with a with a decent scope, and I'm hitting my shots. And this man is using an SMG and he's beaming the shit out of him. Yeah, there should nah, be no I, fucking way. It they didn't they probably just need to nerf the recoil or the uh spread for that gun. Like I think I, you were right. I think it's just the range to just get the all right, get yeah. The, no, because SMG shouldn't have long range. Like even if you add attachments, it should be the like a, there should be a max of range for an SMG. Yeah, that range is, is ridiculous all that shit. But I think I think the biggest problem is bouncing and it's like I've used a, a variety of guns as beta. I've used, I, I've maxed up the XM4. Obviously, I've used the Jackal. Mm-hmm. Um, I tried the C9. It's good with attachments. You got to get attachments for it. Mm-hmm. It has the fastest TTK in the game. Like, I mean, you, it has you, the keep, fastest. you keep saying that, but people be using this Jackal like it does. So no, I don't know. The, C, I, the C9 coming out, man. Like, if you know, you know. The aims, the last assault rifle you get is pretty good. Um, I use the. The oh, LG sniper rifle. I use the, and I don't uh, snipe. I've been hitting quick scopes. I got some clips. I I no scope the nigga. Like, dog, you know, listen, I don't snipe in Call of Duty like that. But I was I was going ham, dog. I was going ham and and, mm-hmm. and, and goddamn dog. This Yeah, no, I picked up a sniper off a dude I killed by accident and got him no scope. So I I it's I don't know. I don't snipe in Call of Duty because it's usually too fast. Like I just don't care too unless fast. we're. Yeah, it's too faced. What the fuck? Too faced. Dudes be turning corners like at Mach ten. What you mean? Oh yeah, sure. Um, but like I, I, I usually just do like AR LMG. I, I like to just shoot the gun and go burr. Um, Game's good, man. What are you using? Using the uh, what's that burst rifle? Uh, the uh, marksman SWAT. rifle. The SWAT. The SWAT's pretty good. I think and like the SWAT's a sleeper dog. Yeah, it needs attachments, but it's good. Like I, I think I that's gonna it. be a war zone. That's gonna be war zone meta season one. Watch, I'm calling it now. The SWAT will be season one meta. I can see the TikToks right now. These are all the attachments you need to be running on the SWAT to make it a two burst instant down. 
Clone War Zone. I can hear it right now. I hear it right now. Jesus. I hear it right now. And I'm right. ready for it. So the bait is good. And that's good. The bait is amazing, dog. I can't wait for the game. <laughs> October 25th, 24 hour stream. We going crazy. I'm gonna be playing that shit all fucking night. We're going, we going, we going up, dog. It's gonna be a great time, dog. Yeah, but you know what game I'm really excited for right now? Final Fantasy VII remake, Space Marine Two. Now let me talk about this Final Fantasy real quick. I finally oh beat God. that fucking game. Did you? I finally you really? beat it. Are you sure? I beat it on stream, dog. It was, it was. It took me 55 hours to beat that game. I had to stop doing side shit. Because I was never going to beat that game if I kept doing it. Dog, Goondar got like 120 hours. I mean, that's a true RPG. I was like, fuck, man. Like, yo, fuck. Like, um, I got to do my review. I'm going to keep it real with y'all, man. Um, I remember when I gave you all the kind of like the first impressions. I was like, yeah, this game's good. I don't think it's going to be like, you know, in my high you know, nines, and I think it's it was looking at like an eight point five eight. Um, but getting to the end, experiencing the end, experiencing the story kind of unfold in a very good way. That that game is game of the year to me right now. That is game of the year. It is a, it is a ten out of ten. It is a ten out of ten. Yeah, you know I mean, I think the only negative I can say, and this is for if you're not like an RPG fan is that there is, like, some soft padding, but you kind of expect that from, like, a JRPG where something just stupid happens, so now it just kind of separates the group or now the group has to do some out-of-pocket side quest type Mm -hmm. shit. But other than that, game was phenomenal. All the boss fights were really good and unique and had different mechanics that you kind of had to work with or work against and it was it was good man and the ending was just fucking worth it oh man it was worth it oh man worth it oh 10 out of 10 it's perfect score on the infernal gaming podcast it gets the litty gang stamp of approval it is the, the the only 10 i've given out this year um it's my game of the year right now and yeah. uh, black ops black ops 6 will be right next to it It'll be it'll be right there. I promise. I mm-hmm. know it will be. You know I mean, but yeah, that's my little review, man. I got nothing. I really don't have anything bad to say about. It. I think the combat's good. The graphics are really really nice. The story is good. Yeah, you know I mean, and and not to spoil it, I'm not going to spoil it, obviously. But it's like for people that saying like this is a one to one remake type shit. It's it's a little deeper than that. And once you play it, you'll understand why they're doing this with this Final Fantasy VII remake trilogy. Like, it's more than just the remake. It's a lot deeper than that. It's very interesting. Once you once you kind of let it unfold on you, it's like, whoa. Okay, this is kind of deep. So, yeah, it gets a 10 out of 10. All right. Y'all PC people should be getting it like next year probably. So I think Final I Fantasy 16 is coming. Online bullshit. I'll be good. Yeah. Probably not, but I think I think Final Fantasy 16 is coming to Steam like really soon or something like that. That one I do actually want to play. It was good. I liked it. I I think I gave it like an eight. It was like an eight. It's like a solid eight. It had a lot of padding. That was like the padding was like stupid padding too. It wasn't like well, it's like a soft open world game, right? Yeah, but the problem was the padding was like you would just have one of the best boss fights of all times. That game has some of the greatest boss fights I've ever had in like mm-hmm. gaming. You would have like one of the craziest boss fights, and then after that, it's like, hey, go pick carrots with this person. It's like, yo, what the fuck? I I know it's just like real life. Like, bro, like, I just fucking took down a big-ass fucking monster. Fuck you mean talking about some goddamn... It's, it's. I don't know. Good game, though. Good game, though. But, mm-hmm. but yeah, you can tell my Space Marines, man. I mean, let them know, man, because I, I I might not get it on release. September so 5th, you, if you got the early edition. September 9th, if you, if you just got the default edition. Campaign. 
operations which have dynamic gameplay to it so then no encounters are the same you'll probably fight against like the tyranids other space marines cultists uh i think they they might add, have another faction in there i don't remember um mm. they might add like what i like how they set this up um from what i've, I've been looking at they 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 set it up so that the operations are like you know how hell divers has their you, you, the missions and shit and they're all technically procedurally generated but you go and fight like a particular faction and do random missions or whatever around the map yeah the operations i think the missions are all the same essentially but the enemies you fight change and vary based on like random shit um and i think they might do do this the for one reason that's probably because they're going to introduce newer factions from the warhammer 40k universe like the tower or whatever um into into this shit and like i'm not like a 40k fan like i i barely like scratched the surface of like the lore and shit but i like what they're doing with this game so i'm like i want to give it a shot i like the fact that they have they they are they have a whole roadmap for how they're going to do seasons um and they're going to have uh more PVP stuff too so they're not going to PVP isn't like just going to be a one off game mode that's like optional and everyone's going to just play the PVE the game is weird though it has a weird cross play mechanic so PVP isn't cross play but the PVE is and i, I I don't know why they're doing that. I, I feel like they should just have like the ability to toggle it on or off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like man. it's 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 just weird, right? Because I, I wasn't I, sure if this game was PV like PVE like crossplay or not, so I could play the campaign with my. It's cross crossplay. It's 100 crossplay. It's crossplay, but you can't mm-hmm. crossplay on PvP. That's it. So you can't play PvP with you with your console bros. That's it. That's yeah. it. Yeah, I, I don't think for a game like that, because the vibe I get from it is like it's very Gears of War. Yeah, it's Gears third I like, person. I like, yeah, I like Gears. So it's like I'm I would I I'm already interested in this game. Yeah. But I but just I, I, I'm not invested in a Warhammer. Me that's neither. Like, that's like the only thing that's just like uh like I don't like, know any of this lore. I don't know any. I don't, of this I don't shit. know anything really other than the space marines are like genetically created, and there's like some weird like they have the Warhammer 40k lore is crazy, like on its own, like super deep. It's been out yeah. for like years, like because yeah. it's a tabletop game too. Yeah. Like, but I think it's crazy about it is like um that it, it it's kind of inviting people who had known nothing about 40k into the fold so like at the very least even if you're not interested you'll get to learn about shit that you know you you just probably wouldn't have learned any other way and maybe that'll get you more invested or maybe it won't who knows i i might get invested in because to me it's like it's sci-fi i like a lot of sci-fi shit so this is like right up my alley um but I, i don't know jack shit about 40k really other than the goblins are are basically a meme faction and and space marines are just like running around saying for the emperor and like getting killed and shit so like oh no i'm just hyped yeah, man the the they have executions and shit like in uh doom gears of war and stuff for like bosses and stuff like that like they the co-op mode's going to be cool they have a bunch of classes a bunch of weapons and shit uh, fully customized your space marine. There's no, I don't think there's no microtransactions for cosmetics other than like a few like DLC, like season DLC stuff. So like, I I, I think that's that's the only thing. Like, how the, all the updates are apparently going to be free. So it'll be interesting to see how how they support this game going forward. Um, but it's definitely like, if this game succeeds where Hell Divers should have succeeded, then it's like. I want to see Arrowhead kind of like see this stuff and like take take it, learn from it, and then put their own spin on it. You know what I mean? Yeah, me too. Yeah, me too. I, I think I think with me as like again somebody just kind of like that's not invested in the series. I think the best thing it, that this this particular game's got going for it is like 
It's kind of like a Gears game. And there's like all these fucking enemies that you got to shoot. And I, I can tell it's going to get really hectic and, and really dope with the boys. So, yeah, I'm I'm excited to play it. I'll probably play it later. So, um, for y'all listening, E Knight will do that review when he feels as though he's got enough time with it. You know, he can kind of come through and give a, a concise review on on the uh the game and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But uh yeah, man. Though. Can't wait. Let's talk about let's talk about games, Con, man. Cause yeah, I mean, we we've been talking for two hours now. We finally got the glazed black ops six. Let's 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 bang some of this shit out. Mm-hmm. Let's let's talk about Gamescom, man. So Gamescom happened like a couple weeks ago. So we're kind of late coming to this, mm-hmm. right? But I mean, it kind of gave us the idea of um, you know, everything that they showed. They showed off a lot of things, man. Um, we learned that Machine Games next game, which is the Indiana Jones game is not a fucking Xbox exclusive. It is also coming to PC, the PC and and fucking PlayStation, which is crazy. But um, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. What did you like from Gamescom, man? Oh, I liked uh, pretty much what's it called? The anthology series they announced. Anthology series. You know you, they're doing like a bunch of um. Call of Duty, uh, not Call of Duty, uh, like God of War, like all that shit, like oh, AC6, yeah. all that, oh, like the animated series and shit. The, 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 um, yeah, the Amazon thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was pretty dope. Dude, that that looks so good. Yeah, that I'm was also, dope. huh? They announced Borderlands 4, but I'm like, I don't really care. <laughs> yeah, man. Borderlands three left everybody with a kind of weird it was face. shit. Yeah, it was shit. I'm sorry. Like the story Borderlands was shit. Has always been mid though. Like no, but just... like all right, like gameplay wise, it's it's like mid, right? But the fucking um, what's it called? The the uh, the the voice acting and the um the the storylines were actually good. What for for Borderlands one and two? Uh, yeah, I think it was just Handsome Jack, man. He just carried Handsome Jack, definitely did carry. I think Dying Light is going to be like a really good game, though. Oh, yeah, that's that's that standalone, uh, that's that standalone DLC they're doing and shit. That shit looks dope. Yeah, I think the best game that I saw was fucking. Monster Hunter Wilds. Yo, dude, they put out new gameplay for it too. That's game of the year next year, dog. Bro, I'm, yeah, that if that it comes out this year, it's game of the year. It's gonna, it's it's sweeping. I'm sorry. Like yeah, Wukong it comes out 2025. Wukong is it seems like a really good game, but I feel like if Wilds came out the same year, it's, just, it's sweep. There's so much they innovated with. And gameplay wise, it looks so good, and it's all open world and shit. I'm like, bro, I can't wait to get my hands on that shit. Yeah, man. I I I think uh, I think that was the game for me. Oh, and the Amazon um series is called Secret Level. That's Secret Level, yeah, that's what it's called. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty dope. It, I, I, I want to see the AC six one. We got Genshin Impact coming to Xbox. What's that doing for you, man? What's that doing for you? You get to finally play Genshin Impact on on Xbox. What's that doing for you, man? Yeah, I mean, I mean, pretty much most of the stuff we saw uh, from Gamescom have been uh, like just stuff we've seen out Damn. already. So Bro said, "Fuck that Xbox." <laughs> <laughs> well, what about PlayStation, bro? You guys are getting a refresh. You're going to get the PS5 Pro for an extra $700? Is is there a PS5 Pro coming out? It's, apparently, they're codenaming it, and they're also like increasing the price of uh, the PS5 by like 90 bucks. Oh, yeah. I've in seen Japan. that. Japan. I was like, yeah. what? why? Why are you... Why? That doesn't make sense to me. I don't know they're, why they're, they're doing that. Their economy's fucked up right now, so I think that has something to do with that. That's some crazy ass inflation, um, though. 
Another cool thing they showed off before we get too carried away. Marvel Rivals, man. Oh, December yeah. 6th. December 6th. You playing December that? December 6th. Are you going to be too busy yeah. with Call of Duty? I I think I'm, I'll am i put it down for a little bit to play that. Hell yeah. Yeah, I might pick that Hell up. Is yeah. that free to play or is that going to be... Um... Free to play, man. 100% free to play. I'm I'm excited for that one, man. I think I think that one's the one for me, man. I okay. Mean, they didn't show off too much. Like they showed off like a Batman um, VR you know, game that looked pretty good. It looked really good, but yeah. it was unfortunately a VR game. So I was like, fuck. I well, I think that's VR the appeal game. of it. I think like, that's why it looks good. Yeah. It's like, yeah, man. They showed off a lot of shit. They showed off that Stalker Two got um, pushed back again. Really? Like two months or something. I thought that like was that. supposed yeah. to come out soon, too. Yeah, they pushed it back like a month or so. Uh, November 20th. I think it was supposed to come out in October. Mm. They pushed that back. They pushed that back. Um, they showed off some Sparking Zero um, content, which I'm excited for that. I'll be getting that day one. Um, yeah, I might pick that up season. as well. Damn, I got a pile. Yeah, you think you won't get that? Yeah. It's still yeah. good, man. I uh, am I gonna like play it to completion? Probably not. I'm the fighting games are usually not my thing. Okay, okay. But I, I might pick it up just so I have like a fighting game to jump in with you guys from time to time. Hey, and it's not Mortal Kombat man. style, like or Tekken yeah. style. I'm not like a huge fan of that style of uh fighting game. I usually like the the Naruto. Ultimate yeah, that's shit. what this is like. Yeah. Yeah. So I might I might um, cop that. Try it out. They showed off some Star Wars Outlaws at this event. Star Wars Outlaws is out now. Yeah, that's 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 uh so how do you feel about that? You've been playing it? I have like I think like eight hours in. Mm-hmm. I had a decent amount of time in. And the game just dropped Friday. So I know I know when it came out. I put like I put like four and a half hours. Did you in. get the early access shit or did you just nah, get it? Nah, nah, okay, nah, good. Because apparently the update it was wiping the, people's save file and shit. Yeah, that's that is wild to me, bro. That's Ubisoft, man. That like, it's not even just an Ubisoft thing. It's like, bro, you paid an extra hundred plus dollars to get the early access just so you get your progress deleted. Like, and uh, they gave bro. them a fucking hundred hundred what coins, Ubi coins. It couldn't be me, man. Bro, that's gonna be me. I'm fucking dying, man. I would have needed a refund, but I like it. And I think for the next podcast, that'll be a good conversation because you know, this is a game that the internet again yeah. wanted to see fail. And I think I, I think, think it's it's it's, it's it looks like it's a, it's just a it's an okay game. Like I don't I don't think it's gonna be anything crazy. Like it's not that's reinventing exactly the wheel. What I said, I, I said on Twitter, I was like, I put a tweet out. Was like, there are a couple weird game decision shit. game design yeah. decisions yeah, in that yeah. shit. I, I I seen after seeing the Gamescom shit, I was like, dog, this game looks at as at best like a six or seven. Like yeah, it, six or seven. I don't think it's any better than that. You know I mean, I don't think it's any better yeah. than that. It's better than Concord, yeah. Yeah, definitely, definitely, like definitely. Um, but I, I, uh, I'm liking it so far. I like the open world aspect. It's really good. The open world's like got a lot going on. The faction system is really fleshed out, dog. Like really fleshed out. The wanted system is insane, bro. Like they sent death troopers after you and shit, like. It, okay. it gets kind. It gets kind of crazy. Like in in the beginning, it can be kind of frustrating. The stealth can be frustrating until you learn how to use the tools that you have to kind of move around. Like again, you're you're not this big, strong Jedi guy in this game. You're uh like you're like a a thief on the come up. I mean, yeah. so it's like you kind of got to use some witty tricks to get around and move around the, you know, the zone and, and do what you got to do. It's, it's, it's dope, man. I, I, so far, I like what I'm playing, man. Like I really like what I'm playing. So it gets, it gets a thumbs up for me, man. I haven't had any 
game breaking issues. I didn't have any bugs. I streamed it in my Discord mm -hmm. um, when it came out at midnight, and people were watching, and they were like, "Yo, this looks pretty good, man." I ain't gonna lie. Like even my one boy was like, "Yo, I, I came in here to hate, but the game actually looks pretty, pretty solid." I mean. Mm -hmm. it, it's it's a really good like stealth game i mean with a really nice fleshed out open world lots of side quests to do a little mm -hmm. too many side quests to do but that faction system that reputation shit is where the game really shines and i can't wait to like see it in full because i'm just getting i've only interacted with like two or three factions and then i just got to a new area where there's two new factions so it's like fuck man it's there's a lot of different factions in this shit. Mm -hmm. And then there's times in the story where it's just like an action that you might do doesn't align even with the, the faction that you're working for at that point. So it's like mm -hmm. you got to make like decisions and shit on the fly. Like it's crazy, man. But yeah, I like it, man. I like it. I like it. And if I think the last thing we'll end it on is Nintendo, man. Did you watch the Nintendo Direct, man? No, I didn't even know they had one. I'm gonna be honest with you. I didn't That's see it. crazy, man. I didn't. And I didn't get any notifications or anything. It's it's wild that you say that. That's crazy because they showed the best fucking. Shit they show more ever. Metroid. No, even right. better. Pokemon. No. What the fuck is there? The Castlevania DS collection came out. It was oh. shadow dropped. Oh shit! All right, yeah, I got it. Twenty five dollars. You got all three DS: Portrait of Ruin, Dawn of Sorrow, and Order of Ecclesia. I wonder how I, they'll play I, those I games. That shit instantly. <laughs> well, you can play it on the handheld and you know do the touchscreen shit, or with I've been playing it like you know docked and shit. Mm. Use the right stick as like a stylus. And it's oh, not okay. as bad as you think it is. It's it's pretty solid. Like it's pretty responsive and pretty solid. Because the only game you really need the the stylist for, like heavy, is um Dawn of Sorrow, because you have to draw them seals and shit. Mm -hmm. I mean, so it, it's pretty good, man. Like I'm I was hyped for that. I came right home from work and bought that shit. I had to buy that shit. It's on Steam, too. You want to buy it on Steam, but... No, I'll probably was, get it on Switch, man. That's not, yeah. that's a Switch game for me. Yeah, hell yeah. But, yeah, they really didn't show off too much. Like, it was it was really that. They showed off the Capcom, did they thing. Um, the Marvel vs. Capcom collection is coming to the Switch. That mm -hmm. shit was... That shit looks... That shit looks fantastic. But unfortunately for me, it was outshadowed by the fucking uh, Castlevania Dominus collection. That shit was crazy, dog. For fucking for fucking twenty five dollars is insane. Yeah, no, that's a lot of a lot of value for for just twenty bucks, especially yeah. considering games cost like seventy nowadays. Yeah, and then they got the Marvel's Capcom Fighting Collection. I think it comes with uh, X Men: Children of the Atom. Marvel Superheroes, X-Men vs. Street Fighter, which is a classic. Marvel Super uh, Heroes vs. Street Fighter. Marvel vs. Capcom Clash of the Superheroes. Marvel vs. Capcom 2, which everybody knows is a classic. And The Punisher. So it comes with a, a lot of games. But I know a lot of people are literally going to buy this just for Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Because mm -hmm. that game was fucking incredible. It's a classic, so... Yeah, man. Yeah, man. They didn't really show too much, but we get into that time of the year, man, where people's people about to go broke, man. Like I said, like E Knight's got Space Marine. Um, then in October we got Sparking Zero, mm -hmm. Call of Duty at the end of it. We got Assassin's Creed in November. Um, and that's it. And, and then apparently Metal Gear Solid Delta is coming sometime, you know, in November. They haven't given us a release date, but it's apparently coming. So I still got to pick up man. the uh, the remake of Snake Eater and try that out. What the one that did? That's what I'm talking about. Metal Gear uh, Delta. Oh, is that coming out for fucking PC? Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit, I thought it was already out. Yeah, nah. I thought you were playing it. 
Shit, I would be playing it right now. Oh, bro, I thought you were already in there eating snakes and shit. I was yeah, like, oh, I okay. I can't wait for that shit, man. But, yeah, that's all I got, man. You got anything else? I think we're going to save some of these for the... Uh, for the, for the next one, man, we got a good, we got nah, a good that, That's pretty much man. it. It was a lot. Like, I was sick, so that's why we didn't do a podcast last time. But, uh, like, there was a lot to cover. Yeah, we got it out the way for y'all, man. We got it out the way. Um, but, yeah, I, I ain't got nothing else, too. So, I'm going to close this out with this, man. Make sure you guys check the links down below. Um, make sure you give the show five stars on uh, Apple and Spotify. Um, check us out on YouTube. Uh, check out my boy E Knight's YouTube. Check us both out on Twitch, man. We both doing our thing. Um, let us know in the comments of the YouTube video if you're gonna be buying Black Ops Six or not, man. Cause I'm 100 locked in. Matter of fact, I'm a hundred dollars locked in. Jesus you know I mean? Christ! You feel me? I'm a hundred dollars locked in. I have paid zero dollars um, for this game. I mean, listen. Game's good. It's worth every penny. Every I'm, penny. I'm, I'm sure it will be. I mean, so. But yeah, that's all I got, man. Um, we're going to end this one just like that, man. Y'all have a good rest of y'all day, night. All that shit. Share it with a friend, man. Share the podcast with a friend. Let them know how great the podcast is. Put them on, man. Put me mm-hmm. on. I'll see y'all on the next one, man. Peace. See ya.